All right, here we go. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we got a special, special, <laughs> special guest. One more. One more, One please. More. Special <laughs> guest. Yes. Highly, highly sought after. A lot of people request him. Shane O'Neill. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming, dude. I finally made it here. Yes. Kelly's been talking to me about... I don't know how long. A long time. Dude, we, were, we were talking about it at the Battle of the Barracks yeah. last year. Was that last year? I think that was two years Maybe ago. Maybe two years ago. I'm pretty sure that was two years ago. Oh my also, God, Also, this has to be hundreds, right? Like in the hundreds. 157 or something? Okay. I, I could be wrong. I mean, You know, we don't even know what we're doing <laughs> yeah. anymore. But uh, <laughs> hey, lever, ne uh, better late than ever. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure, man. How's life? It's really good. good really good. Yeah. I, uh, Living the dad life, you know. That's right. Yeah, looking after That's her. Right. Um, a lot of stuff to do with uh, companies. I don't even know how to really get into that. <laughs> companies <laughs> that. Well, let's talk about dad life because that's um, life in general, though. Super good. Good. Yeah, I'm. Ha I'm happy. Um, Perfect. Things are going great. So yeah. You're out in the valley, right? I live in the valley. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's dumb hot at the moment. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah dude. Summertime. Got to put air Ten conditioning years. in your outside park. I know. <laughs> you know. Just get that going, bro. Yeah. Put a, put a tent over that thing. I had looked at stuff like that. A yeah. While yeah. Ago, I bet. Just because it's it's super hard to wax stuff and like actually skate stuff like it's all dry because it's super hot. And then the but melt the wax melts and it's, it's just whatever not though. Good. It's yeah. whatever. I, yeah. There's no complaints here. Listen, I'm man, lucky. that's a dream come true literally for yes. people every yeah, skater for in the world i think wants a skate park in their backyard yeah you yeah. know and you have one how that came about too yes very lucky yeah very quick from from a dream to it happening was you know didn't you have it like drawn on paper like I years, drew, years yeah. before or something well i had drawn i mean everyone draws, yeah, yeah, you, know, messes around. Me you know i'm not sure. a no artist or anything, <laughs> but, like, i would draw skate parks and like little mini ramps and shit but mm -hmm. um yeah i just had Drawn it on a piece of paper, maybe I want to say a year beforehand. Okay. And then kind of everything, you know, I turned pro and all this stuff and all mm -hmm. these contests, blah, 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 whatever. Sure. Whatever happened and it became reality super quick. It's amazing. And you've, uh, you've remodeled it, have you? Or it's I been have. the same? Yeah. yeah. And it was an expensive lesson because, okay, you want a backyard skate park, that's cool. But sure. it comes, you know, I get, I didn't know, like I had to change the fencing. I had to get all the, the right, you know, everything had to be specific you know? sure the, the council needed to know everything oh. which was still an issue for a long time stuff mm. like that but then also the expensive lesson was i drew the skate park on a piece of paper gave it to california skate park so they built it i was traveling at the time like kind of going in and out checking it and then when it was the final thing it was just a it was the same that same thing i had drawn but just way different. Like I had an 11 stair in my backyard. I knew that it was 11 stairs, uh -huh. but the dimensions, it was just big. Everything was just big, you know? And at the time I'm like, uh, I didn't. You kind of want like a, <laughs> like a, yeah, a, a six I, yeah like yeah. a smaller version of things. Exactly. Right? And I live there, you know? So yeah. that was, um, first things first, I had to try to buy a house to be able to make that like the big enough land, you know, sure. luckily I was able to with the two little houses or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I lived there. And I wouldn't skate the park because it was just like, so, how am I going to skate everything? Mm -hmm. There was no, yeah. Anyway, no complaints, but it was just like, damn, I really like should have been there and should have, you know, it was just a lesson, Hands expensive on. lesson. But anyway, fast forward a year later, I started using it more, you know, and yeah. then I, I changed it. Um, just half of it. But, okay. Um, it was way less expensive than the original build. Oh, because, interesting. Yeah. Because, you know, they build these, some of those quick skate parks that get Poured and, and pulled down, th mm -hmm. it's thin. It's thin concrete, um, but in the backyard, it's like yeah. You gotta they, make sure. Yeah, it's they thick. had they yeah. had the uh, the bar, the barbed wire or whatever the, mm -hmm. the wire rebar under the ground, yeah. rebar under the yeah. ground, mm -hmm. and then the uh, thick concrete. So okay. even taking all that stuff down must have been a taking hassle. it down was yeah. crazy. I had an A frame and just I wanted a flat ground to put a flat bar there. Oh. So uh, doing that took ages. Like just I was mm. watching what that and I was like, damn, I thought it was jackhammer now and everything. Yeah. Else. yeah. How was it with the neighbors? Did you have to get their per like permission? But no. Did you have to let them know or no? The neighbors are cool. I don't skate there. Of like, I've never had a complaint from skating. I also don't skate there at night, and I'm not like okay. obnoxious about it. You know sure. what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I try keep it mellow. I could. I had there was periods of time where a lot of people were coming to skate and. You know, this is when Instagram was starting to. We could, I could have done a lot out of there, but if you really think about it, there's only been a good hundred videos from my park. Okay, yeah. most of it's of me or a couple of my homies. Sure, but, but there were times that it could have been like, here's a fucking show or here's a channel or whatever. I don't know. But yeah. I, but 
Mm-hmm. And that's why I never had logos or anything in my backyard because, or shows or anything like that, or contests. I don't know. I've had all kinds of opportunities. Or if you, <laughs> I, if you like. I could imagine. Yeah, but but it's just my house. You know? Yeah, I live there. I don't want logos. I want to just you know. Right, you just want a skate park. Yeah, because I paid for that um, myself. Luckily, you know, those things happen, which we'll get into. But, yeah, um, but they happen, and it was all possible. Yeah, and, and did it, and yeah, spent all my money on it, and literally the best. Thing I've spent money on ever. Right. Is it weird to see your uh, your backyard in Skater XL? <laughs> the video yeah. game. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I they didn't ask me, so I don't know what. Well, well kids made it themselves. Yeah. So it's a community of people. They have their own levels, and then yeah, people yeah. outside go and make their. So some random person with yeah. the skills made your backyard. Yeah, I know. I saw the video, and I was like, dude, that's really crazy because. There had been like EA skate versions of my backyard and just whatever, but that one's super specific. It has the fences, the house, oh, yeah. trees. Oh. And I think I'm you like, could even Whoa. walk in the house and get a beverage. <laughs> yeah, you know? that, that, that fridge is dead empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get some water, maybe. Um, some villager? Get some villager then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, kids probably just swarmed over there too. I yeah, mean, well, wasn't it something like somebody was saw it on Google Maps okay, or something? So, like, yeah, so obviously I live in the suburbs, which is in the valley, you know, mm-hmm. so there's schools around. Um, and my first, the first version of the park just had one fence each property because it's two different streets, two houses, skate park in the middle. Gotcha. And uh, kids would just be looking because you can see, they'd walk home from school and they can see the skate park, you know? Right. Um, and so, yeah, a, a, a few times there'd be kids, like kids skate at the park. Yeah. And, you know, obviously I t- had to tell them, like, that's not all good, you know? I don't, I'm from Australia where you don't really, the suing thing is not a, as big of a thing. Kid but breaks his ankle Yeah, there, I can't have mom, that. It's, super, can it's real see. here. Like, yeah. I don't know if that's true, but I've heard it's, stories it's, it's about true. people breaking in and suing the people. Like, yeah. yeah. It's Jeez. like, dude, if a skate park's there, I can't imagine how easy it is for them to be like, oh, hey, you're, you're fucked, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Had to, had to put a stop yeah, protect to yourself. That. Yeah, I put extra fences. Um, people stop going but then also people are just coming to my house i mean you know what i mean like a lot of kids would come to my house i'd come home or get knocks on the door and it's like they 20 want kids sometimes no not necessarily <laughs> not necessarily product just either they want to skate or if, ask if they could skate or they just want to get a photo or i mean it's great but they can get annoying bro it's your it's, house it's, it's your it's sanctuary just my house. it's, a, it's you know. a similar th- the the same reason i didn't get sponsors for the park it's the same reason shit like that i yeah, just yeah, like yeah. this is my home it's what I, you know, there but, you but I don't live there now because of oh, this. You, oh, I don't really? live there because of this. Yeah. Okay. I, um, I've probably had the park for, I don't even know, seven, eight seven, years eight or something. Years, but yeah. after a couple of years, I'd kind of grown out of the space anyway, and things were different. And I had more friends that kind of needed places to live and, and there's Perfect. two houses, you know, so yeah. Spanish and a few other homies live on that side. Okay. Um, at the moment it's just Spanish and yo-yo, but before that, you know, I've had a, could have been seven people at once. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Which I love because, you know. It's right. Just, right. They're, well, they're just there. Yeah. How, yeah, is it's it not being, like, how is it being Spanish's landlord? <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it's, it's, he's, he's, he's Yo, wild, light but, bulb's <laughs> out, yo. Nah, so this is the thing. He's insane. <laughs> First off, he, he's insane. And in the beginning, it was nuts. Like, I, I moved in to the house with the skate park, you know. I don't even think the park was there yet. But I was mm-hmm. like, hey, Spanish, you know, things were going weird for him. So I was like, I have this other house you could live in. Um, and it was just, you know, I was living there. I had a, my girlfriend at the time was there. And uh, and he was on his side. And he would call me at night scared. He was scared. <laughs> he was scared. <laughs> yeah, because he was what? just by himself oh, at a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like some. Do you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so he would always call me like, "Is everything cool? Like, you hear that wind? Like, I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> you hear that wind. wind. <laughs> right. It was, it was, it was like that for a little bit, and then someone else moved in with him, and he became comfortable. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. easy. I don't have to go there ever. It's completely fenced off. It's like two houses, skate park in the middle. Perfect. My side. Um, goes directly into the park. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's nice. So you still live yeah, on the like, property or no, you're no, no, in a no, totally no. different place no, now? yeah. Gotcha. No, but so what okay. I was saying was I moved out and then let some other friends live in the house yeah. where the park is. Well, it's all the same park. Yeah. House, but, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So I just moved out, moved around the corner five, ten minutes away. Perfect. Um, somewhere in between this time, just, you know, because I, I was just getting into different things. And, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, uh, wow. Yeah, but I mean... I feel like we'll get there. Oh, yeah. There's so many I things know, that I could just sure. leave through with that. But, <laughs> right, right. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But it's interesting. We love... I so mean, I, was, I was born 20 years old pro skater with a skate park. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, exactly. Yeah. I was just born that way. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, that's a great segue. 
Thank you know, you. let's go back to uh, <laughs> little nugget, m- little yeah. nugget. Oh, yeah. You know, as sure. your little, as your nickname. No, people nickname. don't really call you nugget nah, nowadays. Just kind more, of grew out of it. A few Aussies and more just uh, like skaters from that met me that way. Gotcha. You know, which right. we'll get into those stories. But the way yeah. I met Paul and the way I met, you know, all those skaters like Wiga and stuff back yeah. in the day. Well, how old were you when you first started skating? I started skating when I was ten. Ten years old. I was old. ten. I had seen skating before, but I never. I never could get a board or anything. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, I was in my neighborhood and a, a, a dude was skating and he had a little box with like a circle coping on it. I didn't know anything about this at the time, but I would just watch him, you know, walk to the milk bar, come home, whatever, watch him. Okay. He was about 18 years old. Um, I can't remember the dude's name. I've thought mm. of this before because it's like how I started skating. Sure. And uh, he get he quit skating and gave me the board and he gave me the box. There you go. Yeah, wow. so I took that home. It was a block away. I lived in a court at the time. Um, took that home, and yeah, I couldn't skate that box for like two years or a year, you know? Cause right. Because it, it was a little manual pad with circle coping. Yeah. I don't know why people don't do that anymore. I love that shit. It's I don't good, know if yeah. in the States it was ever a thing, but there's parks in Australia that have the edge instead of like, you know? Square one. Yeah, square coping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. like coping, but yeah. it's not sticking out like tranny. It's not like, yeah, you know, right. It's just a little bit. It just feels cool to see. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what I got. And then uh, I just would skate around, t- you know, skate around. And finally, there was a skate park from where I lived. It was, the skate park was in Hopper's Crossing. Mm. Um, I, I was, I'm from Melbourne, Melbourne obviously. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure people know that. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much the only thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Melbourne. I'm a skater. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, but so, yeah, I uh, started skating that park, met some friends. Okay. Um, my childhood was quite crazy at this point in my life. So mm. I just had a very rough upbringing oh wow okay i did but uh grew up at the bar mm, a little different than <laughs> dustin but, <laughs> but do you have any brothers or sisters i have two sisters yeah oh, okay. oh nice one cool. at the time she, i have an older sister and a younger sister so none oh. not at this point you know oh, mm, okay. 10 yeah. okay um yeah so 10 this is 2000 yep yep i started going to skate park started meeting some people i lived super far out of the city i lived like you know a, an hour, a good hour so i'd catch a bus and then a 55 minute train into the city at 10 years old 10 or maybe 11. 11 12 yeah okay. 10 11 no but things Still. aren't like that in australia right. it's like you know it's sketchy thing where i lived was super sketchy but not on this type of gotcha you know, like i knew everyone and, okay. and i was a little shit bag too it wasn't like you know <laughs> I can't it, imagine you yeah. as a shit bag. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I mean, <laughs> see, I grew up in those circumstances, but it, but it helped with life today. And and not saying that growing up wealthy or anything's any different, right. but it definitely helped not being able to get anything and not having stable things. Like I would I would see my my uncle and auntie who were really nice people, like you know, have own a home or mm-hmm. just good family. You know, I would see that and be like, oh, that's you know. So I had a, a little reference. I had a little reference and I was always pretty reserved. I was like crazy, crazy little kid. Like yeah. I used to be in I was really into sports forever. Okay. But I would see that too and I'd be like, okay, so this isn't just normal. You know, right. like it's not just normal. You saw both is. sides. I saw both sides, sure. fortunately. And yeah. I don't know if they saw that or not, if they know that now yeah. or not. But I saw that. And what? my grandma too. She's just amazing. You know, I feel like, I don't know. I, I just had the, pe- the those parents just too young crazy oh, okay. you know oh. yeah still living their life exactly which is right. you know you look ba- i look back at it now and i'm like ah, whatever yeah just, yeah just a crazy individual and you're young just, yeah. you're a young yeah. father as well yeah too, just like you know? you're just a crazy individual that's whatever it is still sure. you know it is what it is right but they're your parents and that's what you get that's it yeah. Yeah. but it but it helped me though it helped me in in the future just learning you know how to how to act on things and what to do. Right. Anyway, just so, ranting, but I, no, you know, I, uh, wait, I actually, well, I want to ask a random question. When you said you were into sports, does that mean like you're into rugby or like something? Yeah. Like rugby, that? AFL, footy, just, yeah. Okay. Just, just mm-hmm. Aussie stuff, cricket, like, but not into it. I would just go to school yeah. at the time when I was that, that young, you know, okay. nine, eight, whatever. Well, cause sports, when you say sports, there's a whole different thing in sports here. It's like, here's like baseball, basketball, Yeah, football. we don't, you don't have, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, ba- maybe now, I don't even know. You don't have basketball, there's no, there yeah. might, there's like netball hoops at the school, maybe a basketball ring, but it's yeah. not like a, a court or like an indoor, cra- you know, it's yeah, not yeah. A, none of that. Right, but At least right. where I went to school. I don't yeah. know. Tetherball. Maybe, yeah. some, <laughs> maybe some kids had that. I don't, I don't know. 
So when you started skating and meeting all these friends yeah. at the local park, you would take a bus an hour and something. I'd take an a hour bus like 20 or so and 55 minute uh, train. And then you started tray flip nose blunting uh, the hubba there and stuff? Yeah, and yeah. So just, um, flip I, I learned and nollie and flips flip. first and then, <laughs> nah, that's it. Were you watching like skate videos at this point? No, or? so I hadn't seen anything. I wasn't able to skate this box at that point that I got, that I'd gotten. Mm. But I started going into that skate park um, that was, you know, oh, there were, no, I started at Hopper's Cross skate park skating a little bit then i started going into the city where there was a new park okay um it was called south kensington at the, like that's what it was it was oh, an, yeah. there's another city park which we'll get to but um I, I was skating there and that's when i started meeting friends and uh this dude michael gave me two vhs you know tapes which is my first videos which mm-hmm. were which is probably funny to a lot of people but it was the end and um sight unseen no way oh, that's oh. A good, so yeah. it's a good I, starter oh, yeah, there, yeah. yeah so because it's kind of blurry on the on the dates when did sight unseen come out does anyone know that <sighs> Good I want to say like yeah, two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand two. So that makes sense yeah, because make sense. I saw it in two thousand, and by the time I was watching those, um, two thousand three yeah. maybe. But so know. no, those were what I I got. I borrowed them from the the, the homie Michael, and mm-hmm. he gave them to me, and I uh, started watching those, kind of learning a little more. Also, an, a, an Aussie video, XEN. Oh, um, yeah, an XEN video. Map, mappy, yeah, mappy, mappy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mappy, yeah. mappy stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched that too. Like there's a dude, Tristan Walker, who was a young kid. So for me, looking at that was insane. Like, yeah. you know, I would watch him and, and from sight unseen, what I got from that was like Tosh Townend, you know, I right. like Tosh. I like, mm-hmm. um, you know, obviously Kerchart was insane, but it was oh, still, yeah. I didn't understand it, you know. Right. One Could notable it... trick for some reason in my head, which the, when I watch it now is different, is Tosh does a nollie frontside flip on flat. Okay. And he like pivots it all weird. But mm-hmm. I always, like, how did he do that? You know, for it was, some reason. It was cool. funny. I was there that day. That really? You can see me in the background. <laughs> oh, that's why I was, sorry I just that's, had to say that I didn't that know that BG, BGP yeah BGP. I was so sad. Nah, but this, yeah, that video was um, yeah I don't it, it had nothing to do with like you know staying skating or continuing or anything but it, getting videos was definitely you know watching them and yeah. right. figuring out like oh wow that's going on like, that's sure insane, yeah. yeah and then do you, uh, any sponsors out there there was a skate shop in that town that mm. um, I would just like they gave me free stuff or something okay. or maybe i'll go in local contests and win uh you know a board or a sure. pair of shoes or whatever at that point um and that was you know around 10 11 12 okay well, probably like 12 when i was doing that like mm. in, in i would be like oh i'll go to kensington and go in the little contest and just win some stickers or some new videos or whatever right um so i started doing that just by myself, like I never had parents to come around or uh, drive you yeah. anywhere. And do but I never that. cared yeah. about any like competition or anything. You just enter it just yeah. to maybe get some free shit. Just win some free shit. And sure. then, yeah, the little the shop little gave me some things here okay. and there. And then a board company, um, this dude, uh, VB man, he just like an old like legend in Australia. He, um, I want to say old, but just a legend in Australia. Sure. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was definitely younger at this point too. But um, he took me on a trip that went up like up the coast in australia oh and it was just all ball skaters you know we went to all the way up and like i saw cardi allen stuff skating no way oh, wow. but up, but, and like yeah, and a young jake duncan like new, new oh. I, I i was all always kind of connected within um just our industry or like skating there you know mm-hmm. just yeah. from being around everywhere it's that's kind of how it is there what i know i was just a little kid and i wasn't you know um skating with them but yeah, just, you just knew everybody i don't know how that really came about right but right. just by knowing everybody and being friends with kind of everyone it just like helped me get you know uh, just get things going i went on those trips i went on a huge bowl trip which is uh it's there's videos of this you know and it's uh fsbs is a old video were you even snake. skating bowls at this point no i was just i'd skate the outside of the park okay. <laughs> yeah. Skate black ground. yeah no no like there'd be a bump trail or a kick at a uh bin or right, whatever right 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 and yeah, and looking back, I'm like, what was I doing on that trip? I don't even know because I loved skating tranny back then too. Okay. But I was never a tranny skater. Like right. I, I could fire on grind and shit, but I never did airs. And they were all really good, you know, like doing shit. We went to a contest where, you know, it was Cardi Allen stuff and I was watching all That's that. Crazy. But for some reason, I just like, I just love watching it, but right. I never did it. I never tried to copy it. I just watched it. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I would just skate the rail on the side. You know? <laughs> and I went on a whole trip like that. And That's... there's a video. There's a full video. I don't know how to get it. But Any clips it. of you skating? Yeah, the... like kickflip, okay. backflipping. The, the, I don't know how I was even doing that at that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kickflip, backflipping, and frontside flipping and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Didn't Nike come into the picture pretty quickly? So after that trip, this dude, Frankie, who um, was doing consulting work, for, he was like, 
he was working for Nike. Mm. Nike SB was just starting, like it hadn't started yet. Right. And he was consulting for them in Australia. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had to pick some people. Oh. And he was friends with like Tom, this this VB man guy. And, and I was just a little like street skater or whatever. Uh -huh. um, and he just asked me, he's like, hey, do you want to get a sponsor? You know, and I was like, cool. He didn't tell me what it was. He said it's an old company. I was like, old company? Like what can <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what is it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but at this point, you know, I'm still like getting just just free stuff every now and then it w and still buying stuff if i could or whatever you know it wasn't i wasn't just sponsored and everything's cool and we're just doing it but know? it sounds to me like you were good enough though yeah, at that I mean, point 13 years know. old to guess, even catch the attention of yeah you and know, I, and, of course yeah and i knew everyone and escape with everyone like luke croker and lewis and stuff and oh yeah at this point when i was just about 13 and then okay. we um yeah he asked me and then i i uh got four pairs of dunks in the man I, I didn't even know that nike sb started or i wasn't i've never been a kid that like looked um was too into that like, like in, in yeah I didn't in know. tune with no, like, like the industry and stuff right. i just i just watched every skate video and like i know all the skaters and stuff but i don't didn't know things like that I mean, you were more focused on the skating yeah, rather than what was yeah, going yeah. on in i didn't industry. even know how you'd find that out back then now like if i'm trying to find some info out i could probably find it like instagram or sure something yeah. But yeah. google yeah yeah something yeah. but now but back then there was i didn't care or know anything about sure it. yeah so oh, but okay. he asked me and got the four pairs of dunks you know this is, it, it was just a, a lady that worked at Nike at the time. She wasn't like specific to Nike SB or anything. Gotcha. This is, this is like 2003. Wow. Started getting shoes and all my early clips, even on that trip actually was in those. So I got that timing wrong. Oh, okay. But if, yeah, if you watch that bowl thing where I'm skating around the edges. You got Nike dunks got on. Ni yeah, I've got dunks on. Wow, that's crazy. And your relationship just kind of blossomed from there with Nike. When I think about this stuff, it's super, it's super weird because it's, it's a... Uh, something I don't think about at all, but right. it's very, very lucky. And it just back, it just again came down to having friends, you know? Like, sure. So this is what happened with Nike. Yeah. Got on kind of just flow like in Australia with Luke and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend Josh as well at the time, like he was another homie of mine. Cause I don't know, around this period we were like getting sponsors and like mm -hmm. maybe get a check out in the Australian magazines. It was whatever. happening. Yeah. Things. That's yeah. what it was back then. If you get a check out, then that's you know you're doing something like sure that. yeah now that's like whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kids, don't even, kids don't even want that that's i don't right. even know what it is anymore no, right yeah. now but um when that happened uh i had filmed with midzy before chris middlebrook who's like one of my best friends basically my dad you know like okay he does april with me and sick um, but he obviously is a film he's been filming forever I filmed all the old blank videos this is an australian company mm -hmm. filmed a lot of stuff of everybody um coming to australia whatever um chris Oh, nothing but the truth was was you know started to like, take shape. Yeah, take yeah. shape, and they did a trip every year. I mean, the first one was two thousand three or two thousand four. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember which year, but that's when like Chris and I, I had known him, but not well, you know. But I somehow I don't even know how this happened. This is the the weird part about it. Yeah, I was able to go on that trip. And I know they were in Melbourne first. Okay. And, you know, that's when I met Paul. That's when I met Reese and Wega and, mm. and Todd Jordan, all these people. Um, and I was just a little kid and they were all so nice to me. They were all just so cool. And I just went skating with them and, it, you know, it wasn't weird in any way. I was skating every spot. I never, I never had that. I think it's the way I grew up, but I never had any weird. I never asked people for signatures or like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. never was that kid at all. Mm -hmm. or like OD fan or anything like that. Fan I just, out. I, I've just always been an observant. You know, mm. I would just observe things. Sure. And you were really respectful to people when... Yeah. They, I never seen you at Mokbo when you were like a little yeah, kid. Exactly. And you were like, yeah. hey, what's up, dude? Like, yeah, that's would... just around that period of time, yeah. 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 And I'll respect. get into that, how I got there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that, that was my first of, trip, yeah. First time yeah. out of the country, Barcelona. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a sec. Okay, <laughs> go, ahead, it, it, go ahead. Pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, so yeah, they were just so cool. You know, they... they let me come on the trip. I ended up going to Sydney. Like I was skating a uh, Martin Place demo with them. Like, oh, wow. Paul and I got along super well. He's young at the time, 18. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know. Looking back, like he was so good already. You know, he's like in yeah, right and shit. And I don't know what I was doing at that point. Like I could switch flip and skate properly. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I guess I just got along super well with him. Mm -hmm. So we would go skate flat ground early in the morning. You guys would wake up first probably. Yeah, yeah. Skate rat. This up exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we got along well. And, and yeah, I just got on that trip. Cool. They went. And I was like, oh, that was insane experience. Like I got to go to Sydney. It was, it was pretty pretty wild you know they they the budgets were insane back then oh, too yeah. they were just like do whatever the hell you first want first class all the way and right. i yeah well we drove so it wasn't like first yeah. like, but the hotels were crazy and i from what i was dealing with in life was just 
here and here. You Complete know, opposite. I didn't even understand it. Right. Um, <laughs> room, room service. But I was like, this is cool, and these dudes are awesome, and that's really cool that they're awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nothing more than that. They go. I continue on, and you know, things just started filming more. Oh, mid. A big part of that too is Chris. Uh, came to help that trip to film with mm-hmm. them to help them with spots and you know he had a van at the time Good just guide. helping out okay. like, guiding and filming and, and doing everything and you know it was a bit of his role if I went to Sydney for him to help like hey this kid's coming you know I'm gotcha. a little kid I'm a tiny little kid mm-hmm. so he did that he was cool with it and everyone was cool and I'm you know I'm not a crazy kid I was never I wild was, no, not at that point. Not at that <laughs> point. when I when I started skating and, and started just like observing started that whole part instead of. Ha- live in this weird like you know do whatever you want little shit life like you, you kind of change your yeah your attitude, yeah. yeah no i so was just yeah, yeah i was quiet for sure mm. i was quiet because i was seeing all these things that i wasn't used to right so just like quiet kid taking it know? all in taking right? it all in yeah. and you know at that point i had crews in, that i would skate with in melbourne and and um and then things started to happen like we some of us you know we got sponsored by quicksilver and mm-hmm. i started getting sponsors after this like a few little things okay. that's when that trip happened mm-hmm. i um yeah quicksilver it was it was weird like they i got a contract from quicksilver it was five grand and that was the first money i ever got from a sponsor you're not even pro you're not no, even I'm pro. Just a kid. you're just a kid getting five grand five grand a year oh a year yeah yeah yeah, yeah. five Still. grand a month <laughs> it's like, oh, five, i was gonna say man she started early for you. yeah, yeah. 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 Jeez. But still, um, for 13, 14 No, so, kid, I, five, so this is what happened. I, I got a contract for $5,000. I don't remember how it went down, if it was like six months and six months. Okay. But what I did was, which is like, it blows my mind that I did this. I didn't even get it. <laughs> I took all five grand okay. and bought braces. That's you so fixed crazy. your teeth. That's yeah. smart. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Not something that a normal no. kid no, would do. It's yeah. not normal at all. And right. It's like, <laughs> and, and, but it. Looking back back at it, I you know I had this crew of skaters I just mentioned like I would skate with a bunch of homies and we we're getting sponsors and stuff. Sure, all their families were super stable, like well off. Some of them, you know, so I would skate with them and I'd stay with them every weekend okay. and see, you know, and you know, it, it was just something I wanted to do, which wasn't possible until that moment. So I just did it myself. I don't mm. even know like what the choices were, but I did that. <laughs> yeah. what, were you, what were your parents again? Like nothing. I yeah, you have money coming in now. Or? No, so this is I. I only live with my mom, yeah. mm. like, so nothing. I just did that. With Maybe money. it was your way of, no, you know, no, kind actually, of telling the outside world that, like, I'm stable as well. Like, I have braces. Yeah, and, no, I just you wanted know, like, braces. My teeth were fucked and I wanted braces. Yeah, and there was no way to get that until yeah. that yeah. moment. So I was like, okay, I'm going to huh. do that. I don't Crazy. know what the thought process was, but right around this time that I started getting the money from Quicksilver, um, they took me on this trip that was, uh, we went to, we came to L.A., Okay. And then we went to Europe. Wow. And then we went to uh, Thailand. Oh, on seriously? On my first trip. That's amazing. And that was, wait, is that was all like a, a that was all a Quicksilver like international team or was No, it's it just a Quicksilver Australia team. This dude, mm. James Kennedy, um, hooked it up. He started a little team. Like all of this stuff was connected to just me knowing people, sure. just being friends with everybody. And it just mm-hmm. like... Also skating and filming. I filmed a lot of video parts in, in my time with like little, little little kid stuff. You know, I got, I don't even know. How Homie many, videos a lot and stuff like yeah, that. I did yeah. that a lot. It's all I did. You know, I, I went to school, but it wasn't a strict thing. I wasn't really going to school. I'd leave okay. at lunch and shit. Yeah. And fucking, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> I went on, so this is what happened. It's a crazy story that I don't really tell anyone. Okay. But I'm cool with this. It. Sure. It is what it is now, you know. Yeah. Um. I got a passport for this trip because mm-hmm. obviously you don't have a passport unless you're going somewhere. Of yeah. course. And for me to have a passport was like, I'm going to have a passport? I could go somewhere? That's crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to get too specific, specific with this. Sure. But the day before I leave, my house that I lived in with my mom caught on fire. Wow. Um, very, I lived in a crazy neighborhood. Okay. Um, I don't know how. Well, I do know how, but I'm not going to. Okay. You know? Sure. Sure. Um, nothing to do with me though. I was in the city skating. Mm. My sister went in the house while this is happening and got my passport for me, which is so crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. She no, knew no, that. It's not, um, people are prob- probably picturing some crazy like fire, like everything burning down. Listen, like, it was just like one room or something, but she did that, you know? That's amazing. And it was bad. It was gnarly that she did that with all the smoke and what it was. Oh, she yeah. did that. I went away on the next trip. Uh, I went away on that trip. The and next is, day. The next day. So, oh my God. so I went away on that trip is where I saw you, like, yeah. you know, Barcelona. We went to Marseille. We went to, it was a crazy trip. And James, you know, for doing that. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Cause it's, it, yeah. Experience. Incredible. Experience. So I, I went away. I came home. Um, it was a five week trip. 
Bangkok was the last place. I came home from that trip and I was like, I can't fucking live like this. Like, you know, I don't want to live like this. So right. I called my grandma and just she, super lovely lady, amazing person. Um, and just asked her, like, can I please live with you? And she said, yes. Wow. And it just changed my whole life. You know, she said, you can live with me. You just have to go to school. Mm. And from that moment on, it was like I had a room that I lived in properly. I had a spare room even, you know, mm -hmm. it was just her, I mean, her living okay. there. I had a spare room, had food now, like all the time. More you know? stable. It was just completely stable, completely, like just normal. Right. normal. Was it in the same neighborhood that you lived no. before? Oh, okay. No, no, so. no, nowhere near. Nowhere near. So that neighborhood I lived in, I, w I was bouncing around as a kid up until 10. Um, that neighborhood I lived in was like 10 to 13 to 14 when I mo moved to my grandma. So it was like just my skate career, like skate life or whatever you could whatever you want to say yeah. about it. But it was just that period of time when I started skating. So even now when I go to Melbourne, like people are like, you're from there. I'm like, I guess, but not really. If anything, mm -hmm. I'm from like where my grandma was because I'd been there so many times back and forth with my mom just like, you know. Right. And where was it? Where did your grandma live? She lived in Glenroy. Glenroy. Yeah. Okay. Which I don't know where that guys, is, but. If you guys have been to Melbourne, you yeah. would have skated spots around there. Okay. Um, yeah. Close to the city, I know I went from like, 25 minute train right now and not all this crazy shit oh so it's amazing that your sister went in there yeah yeah just to, uh, just to not, have the sense of also yeah. just hey my like my brother has well, this it was opportunity a big deal that i was getting uh that i got a passport and i was going on a yeah trip. Like, yeah you know. yeah that's what i'm saying um she so, she she had the know with all to yeah. do that no i did i can't From, believe she did that it's that, just a, yeah, yeah. you know it's, it's like you really did that it's, yeah you know and looking back it's like fires are no joke yeah those things yeah. can turn quickly yeah so Anyway, we'll get past that. So, sure. Wait, wait, uh, were you like fully burnt out by the end of a five week trip? Going no, by? I was a tiny kid. He's yeah. ready. He's ready. He's <laughs> ready. No. So much energy. Yeah. Filming another homie video. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, a hundred, a hundred percent. I right. was whatever we, whatever we could do, whatever um, we're doing it. It's five weeks trip. A five week trip when you're 13, 14 is nothing at all. Right. Like, burnt out of what? Like. Well, no, I mean, all you need when you're a kid is sleep. And like, candy. that's yeah, it. Yeah. You just need to be able to sleep. Yeah. Like, like that's candy. it. I wasn't even like that at that point. I was more just like, what are big people? Like, what are older people doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. You know. Um, and, and because not until, until I didn't, I didn't like drink or anything. I never smoked, but I never okay. really drank or anything like kind of partied or anything until I was maybe just a little bits, but like until mm -hmm. I was like 16, because it was in the period where I was just like stabilizing everything. And gotcha. then it was like when we were that age, it was like, cool. I definitely tried drinking. Experiment. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, but yeah I didn't start doing any of that. So, you oh. know, we'd be on these trips and it was like Mapstone and older people, um, oh, they're Andrew put, Mapstone, they're putting them down. Andrew Mapstone. Right. Yeah. They're drinking, they're doing their thing. That's cool. I didn't have any interest in that because I'd seen, you know, results, alcohol, yeah. Yeah, dry, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. That's crazy. So I live, when I lived with my grandma, yeah. she just said, you know, go to school, f finish school, finish year 12. And you did, you graduated? And yeah, I did, but I finished, I did my exams early and just oh. finished, yeah. And then at this point in time, I mean, you got the Quicksilver, you got the Nike, are things improving with Nike? Because you, you ended up sharing a part with Lewis. Okay, so I'll just slow it down a little Should, bit no, from the yeah, graduation. Ahead, yeah. um, oh, how was your graduation? Good? I wasn't out. I was skating. Honor, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was... <laughs> year 12 um, in Australia is the last year of high school. And yeah. And you can, you know, go through all the classes and then do your exams, which I can't even remember what it's called, but hmm. um, you can do it early. You could you could take the tests and stuff. So okay. I did that. So you were um, out. I was no good student, like, by the standards of, like, grades, you know? Right. I would try and do what I had to do, do the homework I had to do, whatever, but... In this is different times because when we're talking year twelve, I'm like almost a pro skater. I was like making money and stuff. This uh, is a different time. Sure. I just had to do that school from when I was fourteen when I moved in with her. Yeah. The next year came around w after that trip, obviously with the the next year of the nothing but the truth filming. Okay. Which well, was, was with next Paul year. again and all the same people. All the same people, same thing. Came there, did the demos. Like I was more known at that point, just from being in Aussie mags, blah blah blah. Oh, okay. I don't know how all that shit happens, but it's, you know, <laughs> yeah, it all falls oh, in place. Yeah. It all falls in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing your thing. Doing my thing. Sure. But anyway, Paul was telling me at that time. He's like, "Hey, I have this fork, this uh, video forecast," and he already knew that I filmed a lot and everything. And I don't look back at this and regret it, but but I just didn't have anything to give him that I felt would be like. You know, he was like, hey, if you want to have, you know, give, send Nigel some footage. I didn't even know who Nigel was. Sure. Point. Send him some footage. Didn't work out. Um, but yeah, that trip, after that trip, he was like, hey, you want to come to the States? Um, so I was like, wow. I was like, yeah, yeah, I would love to. You know, I'd been here on that Quicksilver trip, just the mm -hmm. one trip. Mm -hmm. um, 
And in that period of time, Nike sent me to one Tampa Am as well. So I went with Midzy, Chris Middlebrook. Because at this point, after the second year, uh-huh. Nike SB was more of a thing and he had a job there now. Gotcha. So he was the TM and the filmer for Nike SB. So then it like started formulating. We had a team. It was Lewis and me and uh, it was uh, Luke Croker and Josh at the time. Okay. Like a few different people in Australia. And Ooh. I got some more of my friends on too. Because when you're going out on a trip to LA totally different than going out and like staying with p-rod yeah no no it's when like it, so yeah my experience on the quicksilver trip with la was like damn this place is crazy like huge freeways everyone's wild like kind of ratchet place you know <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is gnarly yeah this is fucked yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty nice and that was 10 days and then we went to europe you know mm-hmm. so it was just like part of that leg and it was all just new you know i i got my first uh cd on that trip <laughs> which was a, yeah it was a twister album kamikaze like did you have random. a cd player yeah, we had oh. the Walkmans and shit. Okay. You know. when, you, when you went out, when you, I mean, you knew who Paul was, obviously. I mean, this no, is Paul Rodriguez. This so story, staying with Paul has to be this, this story, like crazy. Well, like I said, I was friends with him and I was never the kid that was like super. Fanboy. No, that, otherwise, is he going to invite me to his house? Right. Like Paul is not going to say, out of, this never happened with him ever. And he's going to say, hey, come to, you know. Sure. Come to LA and stay with me with my girlfriend. And yeah, come, come I, got, to my I house. got stickers So and this stuff. is what happens. <laughs> We're talking, I don't know if this is 2000, what? Stickers. I'm just saying, that, <laughs> like like fans, you know, you give them stickers oh, yeah, and stuff, yeah. you know. But he was like, nah, here's my house and here's everything, you know. <laughs> right. right. A little, little more. He's a very. He's a great. He's a great dude. Yeah. yeah. Very, so, uh, very humble. I, um, I'm like, of course, yeah, I'm going to go on this trip. Things happen between that, whatever. I go on the trip. Uh, it's a two week trip. It was my school holidays at the time, I think, because oh, okay. obviously I'm still going to school. Sure. Um, within a couple of days, I'd realized like we'd just been skating. He had his warehouse and stuff. Mm. Um, you know, I just realized like, damn, like P- like Paul, like Pierrot, he's. I just didn't know that it was like that. Like that's like superhero to everybody. Everybody we see around. Um, his house is nice. Like he's he's just a very proper person. You know, I'm seeing that. I'm like, whoa. That's like. And also, I realize this dude has so much shit to do, so much shit. Like more, probably more than now. That's not really. He's now he's able to do whatever he wants. But back then, it was like that people had him doing shit. He had a lot of sponsors. He was right. doing yeah. mm-hmm. so many things. So every day, probably every day. And so I'm like, dude, this is crazy. I just want to go to go to the park or like take me to spot. And Dan Dan Abadi was his. Uh, help at the time assistant or whatever you know which is one of his best friends but Mm -hmm. also helping him out on things so he would he would go on you know i don't know uh sprint commercials or whatever the hell he was doing he was in all kinds of shit yeah target no not at that point not at that point but he was he was winning all the x games you know he He was doing it what he is and so he would just be like hey dan like just go skating with with me so i would just go with dan skating Mm. with him and this was a two-week trip and it was mostly just me skating with dan and paul at the skate park and we'd film and they had things you know brewing up with their skate site you know remember that Mm -hmm. it was like one of the the first like you know skate website things where they had a budget for the filmers and they make content pieces yeah you know thinking about it now like they would have killed it seriously so um yeah I, i went home things progressed still like with nike and blah 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 Mm -hmm. and then from then on i started just coming to the states and staying with dan who lived with nigel and it was at one of paul's house that they rented from him in chatsworth um so i've always been going to the valley because paul was in simi valley when i came on that trip was is this yeah right paul day a girl skateboards paul or is this this is just after that this is plan b just after that yeah yeah is this yeah. that time period where you were skating that syndrome a bunch? Like there, there was the games of skate they would do. That there? was no, that was after. That's oh, okay. like that's like two years later. That's oh, okay. into everything. We're still like I, so. I started going, uh, coming way more often. Mm. Um, you know, I was sixteen probably at this time. Like okay. coming way more often, just filming with Dan and Dario at the time. Yep. Like just filming with everyone around, and just staying with Nigel and Dan, and you know, skating the park every single day at Paul's okay. Park. Were you filming for anything specifically, or are you just doing homie videos still? Kind of. No, I was just filming. Filming and then things progressed from there into like debacle and yeah, the okay. younger videos. Who was giving you boards then? Almost. I was getting float at that point. Yeah, I mean we miss a lot of that stuff. Like mm. so, from when I was getting on Nike and stuff, I also got flowed product from Hardcore, which is a big distro yep. in the show. Yep. I'm sure people know that. Yeah. But I was like Mappy. just getting flowed boards. Um, 
sometimes it was World Industries and then almost side. I think I was just getting those boards. Mm. Distributor flow. Just like flowed product. Yeah. Sure. They, they would give me like whatever black dark star wheels, like whatever. Okay. <laughs> and I was just like, cool. I never rode for anything else. Like, you know, I never rode for anything else. Right. Um, yeah, we're skipping a lot here, but I was just on flow for a while. Mm-hmm. Like I would keep coming to LA filming. This is all om- almost boards footage, but I was just on flow. Sure. I might've went into Dwindle one time okay. um, or two just to get boards and they would give me boards, but it was never anything more than that. Right. You know, things progress, and um, I just com- I was coming to LA a lot, filming a lot in a lot of different videos, just around kind of. So here's a big thing that that I think kind of helped with my career now, and what ended up happening, or you know, uh-huh. which is very lucky. I don't know if people think about this, but when I first came to the states with Paul, like not first time, not the Quicksilver time, but right. But every single person I met, which is like everyone, was with Paul. So like my first impression to people was always with Paul and he's a very respected person. So he would always introduce me to people. Right. So I always kind of felt that I got extra uh, attention from that. Sure. You know? And I appreciate Paul for that because he didn't he didn't purposely do that. But it's just like it's just if, being if, around if, if someone yeah. if, yeah. if some like shit bag, I don't know, I'm not trying to be. No, hey, dude. Know, if yeah. some asshole was fucking bringing a little kid around and is like, here's fucking Jimmy or I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you're like, okay, cool, like whatever. But because it was Paul, you know, everyone I met was would really yeah, take the time to like meet me or shake my hand properly, whatever it is. Because he's already given you the stamp of approval. Yes. In, in a sense. In a sense, yeah. yeah. And I was doing a, a lot of skating at that time and um, in videos with him and mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. you know, but I don't, I don't really talk, I've never really talked about that with Paul, but I appreciate that. Yeah, and yeah. That's something that now when I'm in the position in now, I try. I always take that into consideration when I'm uh, meeting people or trying to help kids get into you know what what they're doing. Or, sure. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's important yeah. to take that that time. And he didn't even do it. I don't think. Knowingly. Me. No, because he never like pushed sponsors on me. Like, ride for Plan B. You have to ride for Plan B. Like, none of that. Right. None of. He was none, letting you carve your own path. Yeah. He was just. Yeah. Just. Uh, but yeah. Skate buddies. We're friends. You guys are friends. But yeah, so because I knew it, that's how like, you know, I would go into Dwindle and get boards and right. they were cool with it. And it wasn't just like, I never felt, um, and this is a weird thing because, and this is because of these reasons, this this Paul stuff and mm-hmm. Nike and blah, blah, blah. Um, I never felt that like anything was not possible, you know? Right. It just all happened. Just all kind of happened, and then just organic. And then I was getting flow by almost, but at this point in time, before getting on Skate Mental, I was getting offered for a lot of money by a lot of different companies, actual money, and I wasn't oh, wow. making money at this point in time. Huh. This is before, like maybe I had a little Nike contract, like an Aussie okay. one, mm-hmm. and I just didn't care. Why? Why, why uh, wouldn't was, you jump on something? Because I was happy. Um, I wanted to figure out my board sponsor, but I was happy. Uh, with what I was making at the time and what I was doing, I was super happy with mm-hmm. it, and I didn't want to. I'd like Jeopardize. I'm not gonna name this the companies because I don't want to be I'm not trying to hate on it of but, course but I just felt for some reason I've always done this but I just felt that it'd be worth waiting it out that's an important note to people too because and sometimes I, you you can get placed inside of a you know you, can, you there there could be a certain stigma attached course, to you being associated with a certain brand yeah. so yeah and so and hard to get out of that stigma it is, sometimes it is it's, it is and it it's it sucks but it's a little easier now that people. Have, you have more control of what you're doing. That's the bottom line. Like back then, there was no real control. So looking back, I'm like, damn, lucky I did that. Because at that time, I was thinking, okay, don't, you know, don't choose any like sponsors or like just take it, take it slower. And then yeah. actual really good companies that I liked were offering me like a lot. You know, oh wow, uh, not just a lot of not a lot of money, but like they were really, they I want you on the team, like blah blah blah. You know, whatever okay. it is. And for some reason, I still didn't didn't i was still taking my time with it and mm. then you know nike everything progressed with just what was going on with what i was putting out or whatever yeah and then yeah. uh yeah i was filming for debacle which was the first time nike were like hey you you're in a real video like i was the only one of the only maybe the only international person but then that's when i got a u.s contract and stuff oh. in that in the debacle video they were like we're gonna give you a chance and wow. always been super cool to me I, always from from hunter letting me go on that trip back in the day oh, okay. um so when that happened that's when i was like hmm i should nike were were like yeah we're really doing a few so i was like damn i should try to get on something properly you know like, and i think back then as well it, mattered. it was it, it mattered. mattered it mattered, yeah. it mattered for sure and they were like you have all the opportunity. What are you doing? Like, you know, I was like, uh, who do you want to write for? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then I chose 
and it was I was on a trip in China with Daryl and uh, he was on Skate Mental at the time okay. obviously and um and I always liked Skate Mental's graphics mm-hmm. and I, you know I, I used to wear chocolate hats I used to skate girl pants I, I love that stuff yeah I always did but what I saw looking back I'm like I was crazy but what I saw was like, damn, I got to film for the buck. I got to do all this stuff. Like if I get one of those big companies, like I'm going to have to go on all these trips. I'm going to have to film all this extra shit, intros for this, intros. This. Mm. And I've always been someone that do, I don't want to water, water like what I'm doing down. I'd rather put effort into something. Yeah, so all okay. the parts would be like, dude, I can't film all that stuff. Yeah. So with Scare Mental and Brad was like, yeah, you just, just show me some footage. And I showed him some footage that I had just randomly. And it was all on almost boards. Um, and I liked Skate Mental's graphics, yeah. and I was like, "It's there's no money. It doesn't matter about any of that. It's just like I like the company. Wow. You know? And it's it's not like you know, girl at the time, or it's not that, but it's what I was into. I liked it. They had you know wizard staff boards, and I'm talking like seven, <laughs> 17 when like I would I want to make a wizard. Staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that was out of girl at that point too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 But that's amazing that you had the, you know, I mean, like I said before, the stigma, you could be attached to something yeah. and, and, you know, I you wasn't can't get looking out at of it, it that way to really, I was just more just looking at it from, uh, it's not enough time to do all that. Well, shit. looking back, I mean, I always tell kids too, like, just take your time with stuff. Don't jump into something because you want to get money or free stuff because it could hurt you, you in the long run. In. You it know? does. Well, the big, the bigger companies, um, this is not anything new or weird but Mm -hmm. it's like the bigger companies really expect stuff from the kids when they put them on and it's like you're not giving them any money you know like you can't expect that much from them and i'm i've learned that you know and Mm -hmm. brad didn't expect anything from me i gave him that footage which is i gave him that footage to look at even though i'd had video parts and whatever beforehand it wasn't like i don't even know why i sent him that footage i sent him that footage and he I was just, he made a video called Am Chowder and I yep. was, I it was my whole part. <laughs> it was the shit that you sent him. I didn't even see it. <laughs> That's when like, they had the little I, nugget go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, that shit was so funny and I was so happy. I was like, this is sick because yeah, yeah. I didn't even know Nate. Like I didn't know the people really on the team or anything and I was just getting to know Brad kind of. Um, but he just put me in the video and I was like, sick. Like, uh, you know. It's amazing. Yeah, it's but so none of those clips are on skate mental boards or we didn't film for a video. Mm-hmm. I had just, had that footage and you just gave a it lot to of cri- a lot of midzies footage was it yeah. leftover because you, you debacle and that came out the same year i believe so two video parts so you must have just had no given... they, were, they were all no I, dude as a kid you i have hours footage. of footage oh, i yeah. still have hours of footage <laughs> that no one is saying hey my, gotta... one of my favorite videos of you is that one on youtube where you skate to like the biggie song oh, yeah. like dude that's what you see the progression of you and that's like one of the funnest things to watch ah thanks yeah, yeah. That's, that's like a little a little i think it's seven years or something like just a span of footage no but but the bark was hd and filmed with jason only and yeah. some of midzy and right and this vx footage was uh for the amp shadow video i just had been filming because that's what you do gave him footage yeah. yeah just here's the footage and that's it so that was going good skate going mental good. brad's amazing yeah obviously we all love brad yeah. um how long were you on skate mental for i was on for years so up from then i was pro for Mm, five years five Scam. years well yeah. dude he, let's talk about you turning pro because the, when you turned pro that was a big thing for the barracks part and everything yeah. you're the first you and paul were like the first people to ever like put a yeah. part out you had to pay for pay the for part it, yeah. that's right so How? well this is what happened i i don't i can't remember this time period it was either like mine came out first i think okay and then dylan had that that awesome long uh video part. you remember that yeah, yeah. the gravis part mm-hmm. um that came out also so those were like from what i remember the two more at least what I remember the 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 single solo parts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what was like? Were people tripping on that when people like you have to pay for this part or the pe- no, people? No. So were- this is what happened with that video part. Um, and no one knows this shit because I've never done interviews. Ever. Right. <laughs> so no one knows this shit. But but um, that wasn't supposed to be sold. Um, mm. that wasn't so. Su- no, it wasn't supposed to. I'll get to the point. But I had filmed. Um, I'd been filming like a lot more. This is after, you know, this is after nothing but the truth, after Fully Flared. Like, you know, Tricks are, Fully Flared did a lot for everyone skating. It switched everyone skating. I could, I could look at all of my friends' footage before that and after that and be like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a video. Yeah, yeah. you see yeah. a lip slide every part. You see that I never got into that, by the way. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. Yeah. You did a lot of, lot, of, lot of good ones. Thank you, bro. Oh, what? A lot of... Uh, like good front board and all the back heels. Oh, so thank that, you, bro. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. But I just never got into it. I don't know why. Yeah. But um, so this is after that, you know, so I had just been filming 
with Chris, with Chris Meadowbrook and mm-hmm. Dario every time I'd come out here. Mm-hmm. At this point in time, I was more aware of like, oh, I want good filming. Like I want, you know, Dario's the best VX filmer. Like Scuba hadn't been filming VX. And I didn't really know him either. He was like working at S and stuff. Okay. Um, you but, I, but I definitely saw his footage like, dude, he, Scuba and Dario have the best footage. You know, like yeah. Austin yeah. Denali, Noseblunt, Hollywood 12, mm-hmm. Long Angle Fish Eye. That's them. They're the best VX filmers. VX is, the, you know, yeah. for me. That's sure, I mean. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you wanted proper filming. Yeah. Yeah. So I would film with Midzi in Australia and and uh, Dario over here mm-hmm. and just film. Like, all the trips here, I'd film a lot of stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, somehow through all the things that were going on, I uh, was had this video part and they were going to turn me pro. I'd had a lot of stuff in the barracks at that point in time and whatever leading up to me being pro was whatever. But mm-hmm. the way they did that was super crazy. And, and for me, it was it was pretty cool, like how they had the reactions from skaters, you know, mm-hmm. by Mariano and stuff. And right. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had that board in the background, which I hadn't seen before Your pro that video. Board. Yeah. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Um, and... Things just kind of got crazy from there. Well, what do, career, mean, they, you, you, what do you mean? No, but you, I got to stay on that video subject. I was filming for the part. I knew I was going to turn pro. It wasn't like some big surprise. Okay. Um, which just kind of how it has to be now. You I know, think so. Unfortunately. Yeah. It, you can surprise people, but it's a lot harder because people, they want what they want, you know? Like right. looking back at my graphics and all that shit, I just didn't care. I think it's nice to know, though. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to know. It's nice to have a plan. It's nice to have a plan. Yeah, yeah especially business wise. Yeah, to sell yeah, yeah. Some people yeah. don't care at all, but yeah. right. I don't know. Whatever. Sure. But with that part, did you guys get in trouble with music fights? Yeah. So this is what happened. Yeah. It wasn't supposed to be sold. We had Midzi and I, um, the the artist, the artist like he kind of knew him in a way. But anyway, we just used that song we mm-hmm. used for the video. Okay. Um, and it wasn't supposed to be sold. It was coming out on the barracks, I think like March 3rd or some shit. I don't, yeah, pretty sure that day. Um, no, I don't even know. I what think is that, that like 3, another... 3, 13? Or wasn't it like the yeah. some numbers or something? Yeah, something for... like that. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know now. Because I had another <laughs> I part that was March 3rd, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a lot of parts, dude. Yeah. Dude, I've, had, <laughs> I've had a lot of 3, parts. 3, 13. Yeah. It's okay. I've had a lot, okay, so... It wasn't supposed to be sold, but, and this is nice of Steve um, Barra, mm-hmm. nice and also like a just progressive way of trying to do something. Sure. Yeah, I had this pot pocket. and then he's like, hey, we're going to sell it. And I was like, don't sell. Like, I don't want, I don't want people, I want people to see. I don't want people to feel like th- I'm trying to sell them something because it hadn't happened before. So it was crazy. Yeah. For me. Right. Yeah. I was like, one video pot, you're going to sell it? And he's like, yeah, you get all the money. And I was like, that I, st- I no, like, still I still don't want to do it. But, it happened and, and um, it was out for one day and the Sony Music Group was the people that, you know, it's not the artist that does this stuff. It's like they don't own It's a publishing music. company. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it got, it was on for 24 hours or a little less and it got taken down and yeah, because of that. And yeah. then all the money that was made from that, I think, I can't remember how much it, how many things it sold, okay. but it would just went back to them. I Wait. think I made a, I think they gave me a little bit of money. I can't remember. But either way, I was like, okay, a lot of people saw it. The one annoying thing about that, though, was if you put any video of me, and this is when I turned pro and I was, a lot of things were going on, a lot of videos, um, mm-hmm. just a lot of shit with my friends. Like, look, we just made a lot of videos. Sure. Anything you would put with my name uh, would get taken down off YouTube, anything. Oh, yeah, because, because you already flagged. Yeah, because Your name was flagged. But like somehow OD, though, like some crazy shit. Because I tried, Midzi was like, dude, this sucks. No one, you know, it's down. We put all this effort in and your pro video is like, you can't even get it. Only the people that had the file from buying it got it. Yeah. Probably got shared around, hopefully, at right. and why at the time. I bought it. Up there right I, actually, I bought it too. I bought it yeah. twice. It didn't it's work on the, the first time. <laughs> no, you can find it on YouTube now. Yeah, you no, find YouTube, it. of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. Right. No, I'm saying. Uh, at the time. Yeah. At the time, yeah. No, so you couldn't get it anywhere, and it wasn't on YouTube at this point. So I was like, "Fuck!" We try to upload it, no song, taken down. Anything with my name got that was, taken that's down. Nuts. Yeah, so I was like, pretty bum because I'm like, dude, I put all this effort in. A lot of people saw it though. <laughs> A lot of people saw it because I always get hit up by that still from, yeah. the, from that thing. And I appreciate the barracks for putting that out. Right. Know? And at the time, it was like I was uh, kind of, you know, getting a lot of attention, and mm-hmm. barracks was also because. It, you know, it, yeah, was, yeah. it was a very, good, it worked. Perfect it was song. a good marriage. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. And, and it was before all this internet stuff, all these videos, all the different companies having web. It was just before that. You okay. know what's funny though? Sometimes those weird things that happen like that, maybe 
is for a good reason because yeah. it, get, it, it gets that conversation going like, dude, Shane's bar, it's out. No, it's taken down. It's, it's, it's and well, you it, couldn't it, get it. Of, yeah. That's what was weird. But it, it kind of brings more hype to it. Yeah, it you yeah, know, yeah. like people I, are I, like, I want to see this. You have video, video. It's yeah. gone. Like, do you have Honestly, it? Honestly, though. That's what made people realize you need to get rights for this. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, but so Steve asked me, he's like, you didn't have rights for the song. And I'm like, what? We weren't selling the spot. You didn't need rights. And A, I'm 18 or 19. Like, no, I yeah, don't have the rights. You're going to call Sony. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. You know, I'm not, right. not throwing Steve under the bus, but it's like, dude, no, I didn't do that. It's on your thing. And you wanted to sell it. Do you know but, when your name came came off of the, the watch list or whatever? The uh, you No, know, I don't know. You don't but know. It, I just kind of eventually. Yeah, but it happened. Huh, and crazy. that whole, yeah, that whole period of life is insane how that went down. Yeah. It was all just perfect timing. It'd be very hard for something like that for a younger kid to happen at this point. Sure. It does happen though. There's people that turn up and you know. Oh, huh, I wonder how many. But it's just harder because had so in 24 many hours. So I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. ten thousand at, at least. Yeah, for at sure. Least. And that was it. Ninety nine cents or a dollar ninety nine. Yeah. I think it was thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Yeah, it's pretty good. But. And it was three dollars. So three dollars for me at this point in time, I was still making like four hundred dollars a month. So, oh, but all wow. the money went to music rights. Yeah, but I still I can't remember what I made. But I was still happy with it. And I didn't. Sure. I never. I w- I've always been pretty. Um, you figure like after you have to like, like all right, gotta pull it down, pay Sony off, whatever. Mm-hmm. Now can we sell it? You never know how these music groups yeah. work. I don't know. I don't. You know. Whatever. It worked out fine, and, yeah. and that was the video. It, it always seems like you're never like money driven. No, nah, I'm not. And, and, um, sometimes it's bad. I I could probably be a little better with that. Like, uh, I don't know. I've had, I guess one thing that was hard for me was the whole monster stuff, writing for monster. Oh, monster energy. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I wrote for that and those, those dudes were super cool and nice. And it was like a decent amount of money. And Mm -hmm. it was just like when I turned pro and it just was, things got weird in that period of life. So you didn't enjoy Monster or you did, you said you did enjoy I'll it. I'll tell you but... about that when we get more into that. Like okay. Street, or if oh, you Street want. League stuff? Well, yeah. just because I, like I was never a contest skater at all. And that Barracks video and just turning pro that way was the way that I even got into that because I was in the States at the time mm-hmm. and I was just skating a park, North Hollywood Park with Dan Abadi, just yep. chilling, mm-hmm. skating around. Like I think we were filming late or something, or whatever. But, uh, Rob calls him and is like, "Hey, we want to have Shane and Street League." And I knew what it was. I knew that that was coming because I didn't know I was being in it, but I knew it was coming because Paul was like, "Dude, this contest is coming up," and like him and Terry at the time, and they were going to be in this contest for all this money. I was like, "Damn, that's sick! I hope you win. Like, that's awesome, you know?" Yeah. For Paul, so you knew about it. Yeah, because he was in X Games. I wasn't in any contest, any none. Mm -hmm. So, um, I didn't don't I didn't enjoy that. Right. Um, but then. Yeah, I'm at the skate park and they call and like, hey, do you, does he want to be in it? You know, there's 30 spots and like there's one left or some shit. I think there was two, which okay. I'll tell you about in a sec. Yeah. Um, but five grand just for showing up. But, that, <laughs> but there's a um, test and I just said turn pro at this time and like yeah. everything was going great, you know, for me. It just sure. Was, um, I, was, I was able to help people back home. It was like, it, it was good. It's things, amazing. Things were going good. Um, but... But yeah, so I went to, Rob had like a test street league in the, in this hangar in uh, Van Nuys. Okay. And so I was like, yeah, like, sure, I'll try. I don't know if Is I can. Is that when they were trying like, to test out the scoring system? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh. I, I was like, I don't know if I can skate a contest. Like it might be, you talking about arenas and shit? Yeah. Like, dude, I'm a, uh, I, I was definitely way, um, I was pretty shy then. Or not shy, I just didn't want to be in front of cameras. I didn't want to do this. In like, front of people yeah. and your eyes. Not in front and... of people. I was never nervous or anything, but oh. I just like. I don't know. Yeah. I just am a skater. I'm, yeah. I'm not looking to be famous and shit. You know, I, at this point in time, I was like, things are crazy. Like, fuck, I don't know what's going but on. But you here. realize the gravity of this yeah, contest. Yeah. yeah. No, well, they asked me to go and I'm like, cool. I would like, it's a cool opportunity. I'll go test it out. Cause it wasn't the main, like it wasn't the first contest. Right. Cause I was, I don't know how this is going to go. I get there and they're like, yeah, it's seven tries here, seven here, seven here. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and then, you know, Mark Appleyard and MJ and, and it was just like, they chose it from from parts like it wasn't straight it wasn't contest skaters they didn't choose any of the like main contest skaters you mm-hmm. know it was just like just the just street skaters yeah. yeah yeah so they pick these people and i'm now in there skating there and i'm like damn this is cool but then yeah i go and it was just like the format was just at that point in time for me it was just super easy for me oh, at yeah. that time not not um easy to be beating people but just easy for me to skate that way because it was like seven tries just go do a ledge trick it was a ledge section a tech section and a no, big ledge is a tech section yeah uh, 
ledge section, something else, some random shit, like a line one. Big, yeah, it, was two, then, it was two line. It was a line section, which was two obstacles, basically. Right. And then a big section. And for me, at that point in time, it was like, that's how I skate. I'm only filming all the time. I skate a lot of ledges. I do a lot of lines, and it's just tricks. Right. And I was skating with Paul, and his way of skating is very, like, consistent, you know? And I just... Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm consistent or not, but you're pretty consistent. From, yeah, from your video, <laughs> from your video parts, it looks like it. But well, yeah, that's because we don't <laughs> yeah, have yeah, yeah. I've seen. I watched you skate at the street leagues. I'm like, I don't know. I, I think it was fairly. It was. It worked out for me. It was sure. the format that it was. If street league had have started that exact way and it was lines like X game style lines, mm-hmm. then it probably wouldn't have panned out for me the way things did. Gotcha. But, you know, the format forward, was perfect. It was just yeah. perfect for how I was skating and. So the last person, there was one spot, and that was Nigel. Um, Because I don't know why he wasn't chosen, but he wasn't chosen for whatever reason. But he was at the very end, and so he went to the second day, and he won that one, and I did well in the first one just to practice stuff. They had points and stuff. but Yeah. And so, like, cool, we're in the contest. And then a month later or whatever, the contest starts, and, yeah, he he came first, I came second. That whole year was just like we were just, you know. But... yeah, it was just insane. It Didn't, was just easier for us at that point in time of like how we skated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you watch these kids now, some of the newer like kids in the contest. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And stuff like that? They just are made to do that. Right. Like, we, how do you feel about that? Because you and you and Nyjah have kind of always been on top right there. And now you guys are getting some competition from these younger kids. How does that feel? It's cool to see that. Well, first of all, the contest for me is just something that if I... I wouldn't do it if it wasn't working out. Like if it, if it, I just, it's quite um, just natural for me to do that now. I'm super used to it. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't back then, but it's just like, I'll go and do it. But soon, you know, sooner or later, I'm going to, I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know? But I still like it and it's just tricks and it's like still yeah. how I skate and um, I'm cool with it. But these kids are just like, they're, you know, they're really good at it. And I think it's cool that we're seeing progression that way. Mm-hmm. They don't have the same come up that we do though. They don't have to film video parts. There's a whole nother conversation though. They don't have to do 100%. anything. They literally don't have to do anything. Just do good in a couple contests and you know, things could happen, which is great though that that's possible now. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah. so, do you so think, cool. Do you think there should be a certain way that you're supposed to do nah. it? No. 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 Yeah. I think it's sick because then, now it it makes those street skaters and, and the people filming parts like shine, you know? Yeah, and I'm not or really on can film crazy shit too. Like, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying that you can do whatever. In general, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The cool yeah, thing yeah. is you can do whatever. So yes, I like saying that, hmm. but you got to think too. Um, and this is still now current, current speaking, maybe next month it's different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You never know, yeah. but street league has been around for 10 years and only six or seven people have won. That's not, it, true it's crazy. Yeah. that's yeah. not a coincidence yeah it's not a coincidence that Nigel won 30 contests yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah it's gonna be very it's 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 a and every single the, the weird thing about it is every single skater there is capable of winning the contest trick wise but they just don't think about it right they don't right. see that like yeah. i don't know yeah no it's they, a whole you process. have to look at you, it it's you're a, there a, yeah yeah you, you know well, i don't get it i watch some people and they're all great skaters I'm, like they're all fucking insane like for, for real yeah but I watch them in the qualifying or something. I'm like, dude, why are you doing that? I, I wish I could some sometime. I like a coach of, almost. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, hey, don't you need yeah. some, you more points than that? Like, like I, and Nolly Hill knows. Love that trick. Looks super nice. But it's like to get in the finals, you can't do that. So yeah. what are you doing that for? You've been here for ten years with me, yeah. and I'm getting in the finals. But you know, so it's it's interesting because you know a, how to play the game. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so you look at it you're like, okay, I need but to do I don't this. But e- strategy. E- every, yeah. yeah, but everyone is capable of these tricks that we're doing. Right. You know? Um, the, no, the, not yours. Switch big flip front boards. Okay, well, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So everyone can do whatever. Switch like. double tr- tray yeah, yeah. flips, and, you know that trick. That was like one of the first tricks that was like one of the highest. Nine point nine. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, glad. Hit the shit with that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was pretty wild. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm here though, talking about that because every demo I go to, every anything, people always do switch double tray. Like, oh yeah. Just for the record, I don't actually really like that. No, it's not. A, not no, a it's just I do. I did that at Street League that time because, and 
That's what you I'm not trying to, to be do. hypocritical. I've done it straight skating and I did it at demos. I'll do it. Okay. But that time that made it like something that kids asked me about was because it's points. Right. I'm just doing it for points. I can switch tray. I love a switch tray. It feels good. It feels way better. Trust mm, me. It feels yeah. way better. If I could have switched trayed Santa Monica triple set and, and got some footage out of it, I would have. But I was there when Paul did it in his commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, trust me, I... Trick selection is big on my mind, but also I'm not like a skater that's just filming. Like I have to do you, other shit. You know how to play yeah. the street league game. I have to. Yeah. You have to, you know? Well, yeah, I can't right. believe you switched double trade the triple set, dude. You right. kept that one secret though, huh? What do you mean? Like you did it, no one knew about it until the video came out, huh? No, it was just that it was really close to when the video came oh, out. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that right when you got on primitive? I, yeah, it was okay. for that. I literally did that trick because... And that's this is another part of that. Yeah. I don't like that trick. I just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we well, do it good, that. so that's cool. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that. But I just did that trick because I had the video part coming out with Primitive, mm -hmm. um, getting on and blah blah blah. But I wanted something for Instagram that's just not in the video. Like oh. I did that literally for them saying that I'm on Primitive. Oh yeah, like, okay. it was the first yeah. board I skated. Whatever you know, it was a gold I, board, right? And it was, and to me, it was like something that to people is like a crazy trick maybe i don't know and and, and, it, and i did want to do it. i always did want to do it. i'm not gonna lie and say i didn't want to do it but right, yeah but um i did that for that yeah i did it for instagram <laughs> <laughs> i love that yeah. i did it for instagram to do something Go viral I, I, it's amazing I, yeah just the people paul and people around have just like i've seen what they've done and, and the effort always goes far how many tries does that take you i don't know man but um, you didn't you kind of battle for that one or did you do it the first time you went no i went once for that to film that oh, okay um i went once to film that but i a problem with some of those types of tricks with me is that i have this process of doing a trick beforehand and it's sometimes an issue. Like I switch flip that triple set every single try before I switch double tray. <laughs> oh, seriously? Yeah, every single time. Every time I tried the switch double tray, like got to it, it was a switch flip before. Switch flip before. Yeah. Huh. Which is a dumb psycho. Like you fucking my body out there. Yeah. But still, I mean, if you got it, yeah. you got it. You know? Well, it worked out and I landed it. Um, I did it one with my hand down. And then I think after I did it with my hand down, I stopped switch flipping. Like there'll be periods where like I land on it or land it in some way and mm -hmm. then i'm just like right, i'm just doing this trick uh, okay wait a minute yeah. are you telling me that you're yes. gonna you every try you're doing a switch flip first and then yes. you go try the trick every Shame. single time i don't know what, the fuck <laughs> wait, what are you thinking uh, bro you're not just I trying that. that one trick it's a confidence thing yeah yes so it's a confidence yeah thing. i mean i i get it 100 there's too I get many it. tricks like that though if it's a tech lead trick no none of that like sure. i'm not gonna nollie flip crook before trying to nollie flip crook whatever <laughs> right. you're you know? just gonna battle that trick yeah 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 like there's been a oh, let me think of a few there's a few That's like big, i did a big spin back saw 180 nose grind down a, a rail san fernando like so okay cool. Every single try before that, which was so many tries, I big spin front boarded it, you know? <laughs> Just to get that confidence. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. fucking weird. Well, I, know I, know, I, I get it. I know we're jumping around, but what about Wallenberg when you only oh. back heel back? No, that's different. I ollied it, and then um, that took maybe eight or ten tries, or something like that, but... Wallenberg was <laughs> we're skipping periods oh no no, no no we're going back we're gonna go, we're gonna yeah, go yeah, back no we're gonna we're, go back I'm not used to this shit I never talk about it so yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. but there's so many tricks we could ask you about okay so oh my god I can make up no. a trick yeah. and he probably yeah, yeah, has yeah, done yeah. it I've got a nollie back heel somewhat of a story nothing crazy but Spanish Mike love him yeah <laughs> okay he's Got to think about right? things sometimes you know so I'm like hey I want to nollie back heel Wallenberg and I was I'd been there to look at it before, okay. ages before, but I was like, I don't know if I could do it. But I also, that's the trick that I feel I, that and a switch flip, I don't bail. Like I feel good on Comfortable. it. Comfortable. Feel good on it. Yeah. Um, so I, I think I could do that. Uh, let's go to San Francisco. And this was uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. So we drive up to, we drive, on the way to SF, um, we stop at Ralph's to get, we had a Thanksgiving dinner, me and him, like cute little dinner. <laughs> okay. like, sort of candlelight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cute little at Ralph's. <laughs> and, and then uh, on the way, we went to Bakersfield, which had a flat bar, mm. um, did a little trick on that. But I saw it filming and we're playing it back. I landed the trick. It was a back zone 180 nose grind, switch flip over. This was in the, yeah, okay. I did a back zone and switch flip over. Um, and uh, we watched the footage and it's glitchy, like fucked up glitchy. Oh, it's no. VX, you know? I'm yeah. like, dude, Spanish, we're going. I'm, Tony is making a fucking roll in for me to nollie back heel tomorrow and you're telling me the camera doesn't work. Like, that's pretty this crazy. Is, yeah. Just clean the heads on the thing. Yeah, like right? I, I need to have a camera, you know? It's so, not glitching. Not glitching. So uh, homie Joey 
uh, Joey Digital in mm-hmm. uh, Santa. You guys all know. Yeah, exactly. But in uh, San Jose, we we so we go to San Jose to meet him, and there's that Quimby Rio, you know, the square one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't know what I'm looking back. I'm like, what was I thinking trying to plan all this? You know, like all the, <laughs> you know, it's like skater dreams. I could do all that in one trip. And yeah. that's it, you know? yeah. Don't do that, skaters. What, <laughs> yeah. what, what did you do on the this so, rail? So we go, and he had a VX. We could we could land. He actually sure. came to Wallenberg anyway. Dope. Um, get the VX, try to skate that rail that day, try to trick, didn't, I was like kind of getting hurt or like, I don't know what was happening, but I was just mm. like, what am I doing? I got to stop. So we yeah, drove, going to dro- Wallenberg. Yeah, yeah. So we drove to SF, um, camera, we had the cameras now. Mm-hmm. Um, they set the roll up. I mean, it's not much of a story, but they set the roll up and um, ollied it and then tried it. And after first try, I was c- completely fine. Completely fine. And it's that's, that first try that It really- wasn't even... Uh, First try, are you trying to land it first try no. or are you just usually, feeling it out? Usually, yes. You want to feel the bail maybe. No, usually no. yes, but this one, no, because I could only ollie it and it's super long. Like it's not, and and the rolling was close to where you pop. Right. A little bit lumpy, nothing wrong with that because you're on so fast. Yeah. But it was more like, am I going to pop nollie and clear the stairs? So I nollied and just, it just flips a lot and I fly backwards and I was like, oh my God, I'm fine. Like this is going to be fine. <laughs> and it was totally fine. It was, the whole thing was fine. I was like, this is sick. It's, after that first try, I was like, fuck, I'm hyped. Like, I'm going to be able to do this. And it was h- way harder than I thought. Even though it was only 10 tries, it was like running in, popping, and I landed on one. And and just, I wasn't used to, you know when you, you're committing to tricks and it you kind of, you either land it or land on it. or yeah, You yeah, know when you're yeah, bailing. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. bailing any, but none of them were working. Because <laughs> oh. I was just running in yeah, and yeah. then uh, it's just quick. But also too, a nollie trick off the roll-in sucks. Why? To get set up. Now I'm used to all that shit. You're used to, okay. I mean, I'm in all these things. Yeah, these. that's true. But still, Wahlberg, Nolly. So that's, 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 that yeah. that's the one plus of these contests besides like financial stability. So, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Skate parks in your bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, quick. Actually, I'll tell this story, then I'll tell you about that. <laughs> um, all those contests really helped me be able to like skate a lot more shit because it's just like, you know, you have to be confident. It gives you this confidence. Mm-hmm. When you, I don't know if you guys, when you go to a demo, you just feel more confident. You just like, right, I have to do what I have to do. Yeah, people are watching and you're like yeah. committed to yourself. But when yeah. you're skating by yourself, like sometimes I'll skate with a couple of homies in the backyard and lazy. it's like, eh, not lazy. I'm just, the, the commitment level and the, the, the willingness to just eat shit is not there. Totally. Uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. But, right. Do you have a thought process? On not like, anymore, though. No? I, what do you mean? Like, do you have a thought? Like, because I get, like, riled up when I try to, like, commit to a trick, you know? Yeah. Like, are you, are you a type of skater that, like, I've skated with you a few times, but not in those heavy missions. Are you like, hey, dude, um, can you not stand right there? Like, can you, can you get madness? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, do you get but the madness? At yes, certain, yeah. for sure. Okay. But, <laughs> for sure. People who don't are either... J- I don't know. I don't know how. I, yeah. I, I I envy that so much. I'm like, dude, I just want to be chilling and I know I'm going to land this, so just relax. Like, right, you know? right, right. But for me, that shit usually happens when it's scary. If it's um, something scary, I'm like, I, I rush. I rush back. You know, when I'm saying I did big spin front board before the big spin 180 nose yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like running close to the rail, doing it and running back all the way and then trying it. Like I'm not like, and the switch flip. I'm not switch flipping like, hey, what's up? Like, how did that one look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're I'm running like, back and forth. I'm literally a nut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. You're in the moment. Yeah. 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 I just, I want to do what I'm doing. It's funny. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody has their different but techniques. When I'm not doing scary things or something that is really like, imp- at least I feel important to do. Mm-hmm. No, it's not like that. For me, it's chilling. Now, are you scared when you're doing like, Ledge like tech no, tricks? No, no. no. I mean, because there's some. Te- hey, dude, you well, said the other day you posted on your Instagram and you did the switch flip back tail switch back side 360 allow, yeah, and you're like, <laughs> you're like, I gotta do it again. I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, that was insane. Why? So, because of the tic tac, you wanted to do it again? It just it doesn't look right. It do, to me, it doesn't look right. I know it's to people probably a crazy trick. Now, I didn't even think I could do it when I was doing that. I was like, dude, I can't switch back three heel. It's very hard to fucking do that out of a switch for back tail. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes, it is. But it, but it worked out. I did a tic tac. And yeah. You didn't feel right the to exact you The exact same. Well, no. Nah, I, I look at that footage and I'm like, I could, right now, I could do that way better. That's just, but I have this thing that with video parts, tricks like that, I never do it again. No. Uh, I've done that my done. whole entire skating. Just because. That's the most important thing to me. I know I could do it again, but videos is the most important 
important thing to me. Like mm-hmm. when when I'm done, when I'm 50, looking back, 40, whatever. Now, yeah. actually, <laughs> no. <laughs> looking back, I'm like, there's something, you know. But if I just do it all the time and post it on Instagram and do this and that, it's just like, what is that? What did yeah, that mean? Yeah, you know? yeah, right. So with that one, I'm like, oh, I just wish I did it again. And because mm. now, I mean, I was after posting, that, I was thinking like, I should just do it again. Just. Go that? actually do it again. I think I will. I'll do that. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Where you're you comment and like, do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, where is it, dude? Every not. trick you post now, they're going to be asking for that yeah. trick. Yeah. Nah, but so where that comes from is with uh, the trans world video, which is a weird part of my life. I heard a no. funny story about that, actually. Not another trans world video? Yeah. Anyway, uh, before I get into that, I'm yeah. going to say that. Yeah. Switch for back tail, back three, kick flip. I had done that and tic tac and done that and tic tac and like I just kept going to try it. And then I finally did it. And uh, I'll, no, pi- no pivot or no tic tac, uh-huh. and like that was way more satisfying than four years later doing the heel flip out when I didn't, you know. It's but about it's, we're it's own... not it's not showing it's not about showing the person or what people think. It's just like the feeling of that. It's yeah. a feeling because I don't want to do that a lot. If it's the feeling of a normal trick like a crook nollie flip, then I'll just do it again and it's whatever. We're our own worst critics too. You know, we want it to be the way that we envision it in our head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I was gonna say really? something because during. Uh, I heard a story from a friend that like when you were filming for it that you didn't film that much until like the fir- last three months of for the what? video for the Transworld video that you were in. No, so Turn Pro Straight League started that year, 2010, mm-hmm. I think. The cool thing about that was they did them every two weeks. Those three stops, did them two weeks, boom, won some of won one of them, came second, like mm-hmm. won a hundred grand for second place. It's amazing. Dude, first one. Rob, yeah. uh, Rob really. He made that contest. He made it a big deal. He brought himself. He he's you know he's a celebrity. It, he he right. brought himself to the, the those contests to get people there to bring you know the the crowds now similar amount of people, but it's different. It's skaters now, or like more so skaters that are interested in street league. Not sure. everyone. A lot of skaters don't care about that shit. But but um back then it was like Rob's fans. You know it was like mm-hmm. you know you got yeah. you got three dime squad girls on the side. Right? <laughs> yeah. like, you know. he, he was yeah, bringing yeah. in his audience. Yes yeah. yes, and so him doing that. And putting up those prize purses and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure that was his money. But either way, it it, it like rose everyone's like Levels. stock, kind of. Yeah. You know, like if totally. if co- companies are coming at us, the people that are in this, like the money is real now. You know, right. it changed a lot for everybody. Yeah, hundred percent. Thank, thank you for that. A hundred um, grand for second place. Yeah, the, the money in the beginning was nuts. Ridiculous. Like it, it was, was it like two hundred grand? Was the first? Was yeah, I won place? that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing, <laughs> crazy. That's like yeah. life changing. No, so this is what happened. Yeah. I'm making like, and I don't want to get into money much, but it kind of relates to the story. Sure. So that happened. Those contests happened. I I was still making. You know, I turned pro, but Nike contract wasn't. They were negotiating with me. It took like seven months. Like down the line, it mm. ended up working out. Okay. Um. So I was making, you know, four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars a month from Nike. Sure. And then at that point, at that point yeah. in time. So at that point in time, that's that's how that's how much money I made. I was very happy with that. I stayed with with Dan and with Tori at the time. You know, we miss a lot of this shit, but stayed with Tori and Dan at that point. Um, Straight League started. I lived with Dan and and at Andy's house with his lady Andy Netkins, mm-hmm. um, just for like a couple months. And then Straight League happened. I turned pro. The barracks thing happened. Yep. I think the little money I made from that still helped. You know. And then Straight League happened. It was in a three three week maybe month period and i won like 200 oh, maybe 300 grand right about, wow about. no actually definitely definitely that much more or they companies a, matching stuff too no i didn't have contracts like that oh right like right, right. Oh, imagine i was on a twenty thousand dollar a year contract and nike matched 200 seriously <laughs> yeah. they'd be like what the fuck are you doing right right, right. so so um with that money, I was like, whoa, like that's it's weird. Life, life changing. Life changing. I didn't know what the hell was going on, but I didn't change anything. The first thing I bought, I bought a car, mm-hmm. just cash, didn't even have a license, just went in, <laughs> oh. bought a car. Yeah, it's, You're like, I'm going to need this. I still have that car. It's right there. Okay. Um, the Jaguar? Jaguar, yeah. Yeah. And it was like, looking back, maybe a little bit more than I should have bought, but I just bought it with cash, no license, and they just gave it to me. Pretty crazy. Drove right. it, no license. Just, <laughs> <laughs> so wild to think about. Crazy hey, they, what cash will do. Yeah. You know? they, got, they got their money. Yeah. yeah, so that year happened, and then I had, after that year, so I had a lot of family issues. A lot okay. of, just, you know, not, nothing I talk about here. But life just, happens. Just, just life yeah. happens. Yeah. And I had a girlfriend at the time, and she lived in Utah, and I would I would just go there. I didn't even want to skate. Or like, everything happened so fast. I wasn't doing anything weird with money or, like, you know. Yeah. I was just... 
didn't feel like I didn't want to skate. I like lost myself in a Interesting. sense. Interesting. It, it was very weird. And I was super fat. Like, oh, I remember yeah, that. Oh, yeah. I, I, got, I was like, dumb, what? chubby. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, and and it's funny to me because I'm like, I understand why I'm not skating. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that happened, and and uh, that was in the period where I was filming Trans World. So I had some footage, and at the end, at the end was when like I was like, oh my god, I got to get footage. Like I'm, mm. I'm blowing it. You know, Trans World at this point, and I'm not saying it's not now but it was a very big thing for me to want to to, to do that yeah mm-hmm. like i was so thankful i was like you want you want a trans part for me like i just um, it's I a great opportunity yeah, yeah i would love to i just came off the back of living with tori while he was filming hallelujah and seeing what that was and watching him how he did it how he worked with john and chris whatever yeah. and those parts do do uh do a lot for the for of people course, back of course then. Yeah. yeah and it was um a great opportunity that I really appreciated, but it was just, I wasn't in the right mindset, you know, I was yeah, just like yeah. with my girlfriend and her dad, like some rich girl up in Utah, just chilling. Yeah. Um, and just like, th- wasn't really skating at this point. I had a house in LA with Paul, Dan and my homie Chance Eldridge, oh, Justin's yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. And it was all of us in this crazy house. I don't know if you went there. Is that it was the like uh, a, former baseball players? No, home? that was my first house after right. I moved Was it Jose Canseco's house? That was Jose Canseco's yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happened there was uh, I, I, yeah. It's the, so funny. Dude. I was living with Andy, you know, paying the, the little room rent that I was paying. Mm-hmm. And uh, Straight Lake happened. I yeah, made that money. Yeah. And I wasn't, I was like, okay, well, I just want to, I got to buy a car and be more self-sufficient. Like Dan's drive me everywhere. All those years leading up, like, thank you to him for that. You know, right. all those years, everything for yeah. no reason. Huh. Just Paul's assistant, like helped me. Yeah. Great friend too. Like, good to be around, but, and filming. Yeah. Um, but so I was like, okay, we can get a house. Like I want to get a house, you know, like obviously Dan's going to move in. Chance moved in at the time. Like I knew him, but he was acting a lot more. And you know? Yeah. He's had his own thing going so, on. Yeah, we got the house and it happened to be Jose and house. <laughs> yeah, I love it that. was just a rental and it wasn't it sounds crazy. It sounds like it was expensive or something, but it was it was average. Reasonable. But it was nice though. It had like a pool and and, and a fake beach. It was weird. Oh wow. So the Transworld video Transworld video happens. Um, Transworld video happens. I'm kinda distant from skating at this point. Like that whole year of Straight Lake two thousand eleven, I'm like nothing I'm not doing anything. Mm. I, even, I I just didn't want to you know. Isn't that weird that you went from this kid that was just wanted nothing else to do but skate, mm-hmm. and then you find yourself not even wanting to skate? Because I had the family issues mixed with, like, so I'm doing this interview now, 2019, yeah. 29 years old, I've never done an interview, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, but yeah. I'm good friends with everybody, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. fucking talk about everything, it's just, I've never felt the need to be like, is. To a, to a point, it's been like, people like, what, like, what's your personality? What are you doing? And I'm just like, I, I don't want to tell. Like, it doesn't matter. You're just a it skater. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it's right. never mattered. So, so um, but back then in 2011, after all those, like, contest things happened, I had mm-hmm. people just asking for everything. So, family stuff, girlfriend, sure. like, new, new, new found, like, oh, I could eat there. I could eat here. Just new found life, kind of. Right. Yeah. And just got chubby. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happens then? You, you. You all of a sudden said like, oh my God, I only have a couple more months to film this trans world part that I'm super hyped on doing. I better get my ass no, in it gear. No, it was more like, I'm going to do that. And I was just half-assing everything. I was doing the straight leg. You know, I was getting pulled in all these Too directions. much going on? Too much going on. Way too much. Okay. Way too much. All these interviews, do this, do that. I'm like, I don't want to do any of that. And yeah. here's a guy that so their, instead, their video parts mean a lot fast. to you. No, I'm not saying video parts. I'm saying like all that interview shit, all the stuff for the straight legs. And now like I was at... I rode for Monster at that point in time, yeah. which was big for me because um, people don't really care now and whatever, but I don't, I don't know. I like to try to represent stuff I'm really into. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't drink Monster. I've never drank a drink. I've never had one. I've Just had more the, water, the logo. Yeah. Yeah. And cash the checks. Well, what well, was that? But, but also the team was cool. Like it was fun. It was, it was, uh, they were really nice to me. It was really, it was cool, mm-hmm, you know, and, mm-hmm. and straight league was a big part of it at the time. That's and true. I was just like forced in these directions, not forced. It was very like beneficial, but, right. but I just did shit kind of just started doing shit. Like, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. And then yeah. I was just like, I don't like doing that. I'm not good at that. I don't, I don't want to say anything, you know? Right. And so I got a girlfriend and fucking went away. Yeah. Cause then uh, like, they're not going to ask me to do anything. If they can't get a hold of you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happened anyway. Long story, but I fucking go to, uh, I don't know if this is before or after, but I did what I did for the transit video. It's the worst part I've had, for sure. Oh, you don't like it? It's no. so fucking really good. It's still no, good. No, it's yeah. the worst part I've had because it has no, you can tell, or I can tell, that it's just footage given 
Uh, like I can mm, tell that. But, like you didn't but, go on trips with those guys no. and make it like. No, no, whole... I try. I went on a trip or two with them. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, in the midst of all this, uh, I would always film with the same people mm. and, and like make projects together. Like Chris was the one I was working. Chris Ray and I did what I could at the time. Um, and maybe externally, people didn't see any difference between me just being chubby or whatever. I don't know. I don't even know if I was that chubby at that point. Okay. <laughs> but it's pretty funny. But, but no, I was just giving them footage. Um, right. And it was random and it wasn't thought out. Uh, at that point, I really liked that process because I'd worked on Chris with things like that. Mm-hmm, I'd worked mm-hmm. on like the pro part, like the barracks yeah. thing. I really worked on that with him. We really did that together. Like, what do we need for this? What kind of tricks? And I was, it's just weird for me because I, I like, I'm trying to think of tricks too, you know? It's not like I'm just copying things. Sure. Yeah. yeah fully flared change a lot of the, the, mindset of people yeah. i think you know you see carol do the backsmith impossible or backsmith back three oh, yeah. and i was like oh wow like but just before that i had already been dabbling with those tricks which is so weird but it, not the ones he was doing i yeah. couldn't do that but interesting i don't know trans world was just something that um you get a, a really small amount of time to film it it's yep. one year one year one year especially back then yeah and and that it just wasn't my year wasn't your it year. just wasn't my point in time in life and then so what happened to get out of that which is I'm so happy all this happened. I'm happy that um, I had those downs and, you know, I was... Well, I'm, you learned from those. Yeah, you know, of I, I learned yeah. everything from that because it was all just happening super, just like a, it was, I'm turning pro-am, like on every team. Like mm-hmm. I, the only time I ever felt like something was was not really sure of was when I got on Four Star. Mm-hmm. When I got on Four Star, I was like, damn, I, I'm really on. Because, you know, Girl and Chocolate are like that. Those yeah. companies, they they choose wisely and they they take their time with people. And when I got on Foresight and had an ad, it was a super team. I was yeah. so happy. I was just like, damn, I really got on, like for real. Because I'd always go in there and get the go down the aisles, get yeah. product. That's why I wore like chocolate and girls. But I loved a, I loved the clothing. I right, loved it. they made good stuff. I love yeah. They made great stuff. A real quick thing, you you seem to wear long sleeve button ups a lot. Is that like a, is that just like a thing that you just like I wearing? Just, I just I just like clothing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. it'll be like I hot. mean, but see this like yeah. the like this chubby period i've been through periods where i look back and everyone does this shit yeah and i'm like what the fuck was i thinking <laughs> oh, you know? not even clothing but like you know there's oh sh- that i'm like in tampa and i got a fucking hoodie on and stuff i'm just oh, like yeah. dude what was i thinking <laughs> yeah, but but that period of time this is that same period of time where i was just like i was pretty shut off yeah you know i was pretty yeah huh and so anyway how i got out of that is i went to a contest in berlin um ended up no that's real that's irrelevant how I did in the contest. It was good, but okay. um, <laughs> it was good. Lewis was there, Lewis Mino. Yep. Um, and I had the girlfriend at the time and I went from, it was the same girlfriend, like the issues mm-hmm. um, that I was just having in life. And I was like, just talk, I just talked to him, spent a good two days with him, like at, in Berlin. It was, it was just us and like random people that I didn't really know. Okay. So I was just chatting with him and talking about life. Everything was going great for him. He was in Melbourne. Like, he lived there now. He'd made the, the change of, um, and, you know, obviously we all wish he was here. Yeah, of he, course. Now is perfect for him, you know, because he loved living in Melbourne. And you could do that now. You can yeah. do whatever you want. Yeah. But he was, at this point, he had just made the move of, like, he's on Nike. Everything's good. He's, you know, Lewis Mine Alpha. Yeah. And he um, was living in Melbourne now, you know. And he, I was just talking about it, like, you made that that move like does that change anything with sponsors they pay you less like what's the how does that work you know you really move back home like you're there and he's so happy and he's got his like bike thing that he rides around to IMAX and with the music it was just cool yeah. it was cool to hear him and he talked I talked to him about the situation I could really like you know open, open up to up, him yeah. be like look dude I'm fucking blowing it kind of you know what should I do right just talk to him about it and then I'm you know I broke up with that girl and that's when everything mm. started to get better and then I started realizing damn I really want to be skating I really want to be filming I just got to figure out like you know figured out the the life stuff and right got super healthy you know it's great the sad thing about that story though is that's the last time I saw Lewis oh, yeah oh, oh really and the, yeah it's wow. so sad damn wow yeah, this is why it's sad for me is I the contest happened mm-hmm. um I won the contest like that's irrelevant again but <laughs> yeah. but i don't know but i was chatting to him and he's like i want to i want to take you to this reggae thing tonight and i was like yes i want to go you know he's super into that shit and sure. you know i just wanted to go go back to my hotel i'm like tripping on breaking up with this girl mm-hmm. texting like just breaking up with her literally after that conversation go in the shower get out of the shower i was just passed out oh you fell oh, asleep i geez. fell asleep dude i never got to go and i wow. never like 
Damn. That was the last time I saw him. Oh my gosh. And you guys were yeah. like great friends of as course. well. Of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. Like uh, at that point in time, I didn't see him as much because mm-hmm. he was in Melbourne and right. I was just doing a lot of shit. Um, wow. But yes, we he was a big part of- Big part? You know, all those those things I was saying around, you know, the Nike stuff, it was all with him. Mm-hmm. You know, it was all with him and he had always had my back and he'd always- Yeah. 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 Was he a little um, older than you? And he was the you? best too. He's the best. best. He's a little older than you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So to say, he kind of came up first and you were like right Yeah, he's like Paul's age. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Wow. That was fun to watch over here. Like, I love that dude skating. And I didn't yeah. know. People talk about him like, oh, he's great. When you met him, I'm like, wow, this guy really is awesome. No, he was really awesome. Yeah. Like, you, you always hear that about people, you know, unfortunately. Yeah, right. They pass away or anything. But the thing with him that is the best besides all the skating and everything and his personality being so cool is like, he was very stubborn like me. We we had the like we had such a good relationship. Yeah. Was st- him and Luke Croker also was another dude on Nike. You probably know him. Mm-hmm. He's on Croker and stuff. He just stopped skating. But um, yeah, I love that about him though. Like we would just always bicker and shit. And just, yeah, yeah. He's just, just the way he would do stuff. You know, he would go. I just love that shit. Just, he would go to. Uh, Amoeba, you know, the, yeah, the, the, the record, and he'd just be there for so long, you know, <laughs> just so long picking all this shit because he's real into it, like all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'll just be like, dude, let's go, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just little yeah. shit like that. We, it would always be that way, vice versa, though, because I'd yeah. always be, be doing annoying shit somehow or too, too like feisty, like trying to go. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've always been like that. Like, go, I want to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's bring it back. I want to bring it back to. You know, you were on Skate Mental for a long time. I was on that, yeah. Years and years and years. And then you went and you left. You joined Primitive. I did, yes. What was going on at that point in time? All right, so before that, before leaving Skate Mental, I I was filming a video part at the time. It was the one on Thrash called Shango's. Yep. I filmed it with James James, who was one of the kids um, I skated with from back in the day. Wait, Um, wait, wait. His name is, his real name is James? His real name is James James. That's amazing. 100%. Last name's James, first name's first James. Name James. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> it's an, he's always, a good filmer, dude. He's the, he's one of the best filmers. Okay. Yeah. And so JJ. Well, I always skated with him back in the day in uh, with the people I skated with, you know, as mm-hmm, a kid, mm-hmm. just making all the homie videos and sure. stuff. And he uh, was a skater, you know, he would he would make videos and he wasn't really filming. Okay. He wasn't filming at this point. Our friend Shorts was. Um, Shorts. Yeah. I love these names. James, James, and Shorts. Well, yeah. Yeah, Shorts' his name is James too, actually. <laughs> Last name Shorts. <laughs> no. okay. okay. James Shorts. Yeah. Okay. James Shorts. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Wow, we didn't even touch on these nicknames. I mean, it's incredible. Jesus, I um, love it. Yeah, nugget. Yeah, I was filmed with him, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. he kind of only started coming back into the picture on. 2013 or something because we went on a, it's pretty funny he owed some of us money at this point I can't remember what year this was mm. just for I don't know what like maybe a trip or maybe whatever so we went on a trip to Tasmania he was filming at this time we were doing like we did Taz trips like we called him Taz trip okay. on YouTube like there's some of them maybe Taz trip 07 or 08 is mm. on there okay but we did these trips and made little clip edits and uh, the second one we went and he owed some of us money and our friend George's parents owned a Donut King, which is a donut shop, like donut store. Yep. So I went with James, James and I, Tasmania, filmed the whole clip, and he stayed there. But he didn't just stay there for, he stayed there forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 He, he there. was like, all right, I owe these people money. George's parents will let me work at the Donut King. Mm-hmm. Um, he worked there to try to pay some of the money off, ended up getting a girlfriend, first girlfriend. You okay, know, yeah. The t- we're all growing up. So sure. Whatever. He stays there, lives there, films, becomes a, just getting so good at filming, making all these montages throughout the years. And this is the period where I'm over here, like trying to do all that shit we just talked about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I, we meet back up and like, we filmed some stuff in Melbourne on a, on a little clip. Like we just made clips. We've always been doing this shit forever. Right. Um, and yeah, we just started filming a lot together. Mm-hmm. I made, this was the period of time where I was like, all right, fuck this. No more girlfriend. I'm working my shit out. I'm getting skinny. Like, getting healthier and working out what I'm doing, really getting back into, not that I was out of skating, but just right, like right, right. trying to get where I was. Like I was the whole time trying to get better, learn tricks, do this and that. And mm-hmm. then that stopped in this period where I was just, you know, whatever life. Right. And then get back to it. I'm trying to do more, do more tricks, do this and that. And we filmed our first clip, which is, uh, it's called Gisborne Skate Park. Like mm. it's a skate park edit we did mm. in Melbourne. Okay. Um, 
and oh, I is made that. The, that. Uh, it's one where it's like to a Biggie song. It's yeah, like I love that. that, 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 that so and I do like Nolly yeah. backs a foot, lay flip or whatever. Mm. Nolly backs a foot, oh, yeah. switch, switch front crook. Switch front crook, yeah. yeah. So that was the time where I was like, uh, I'd just given up all this shit, you know what I mean? Right. I'm, James filming so good and, and at this point in time, like I had funding or f- i had the funds to be like let's do stuff let's go on trips so i could get you jobs here let's let's start filming and okay so we filmed that clip put it up it, it did super well or it was just like a big obvious difference between my skating from like if you watch the trans world video and in that clip oh. the the way i look and how i'm skating is completely different yeah and gotcha. it was more back to it looks like the pre- the next clip from when I turned pro from that part, you know. Okay. So that one year period, let's just like chop that out of the internet. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, that's the thing that. that sucks um, with like being a, a skater that's doing all this shit. You can't get away from no. that. Like, I'm, like the time when I was saying I was, you know, uh, chubby or like wearing a hoodie in the hundred degree weather at Tampa or whatever. It's the <laughs> shit I'm like, what the fuck is I thinking? It stays that's, on the internet yeah, forever. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm talking about it now, so fuck. But, <laughs> yeah. but trust you know, me, there's some Google images of me that I want to take down, <laughs> yeah. but it's not gonna happen. It's not happening. Yeah, you can try. it's whatever. So yeah, we we really started like okay, we just started filming a lot again. I started, re- you know, Chris at this time was doing more Nike stuff and working on other people like Nick Passario and stuff, working okay. on different videos, which I always went back and and did everything with them because they've been on Nike, obviously. Sure, but, um, sure. But yeah, James, James, and I just started just fucking, and that's. That's really what I wanted to do. I was, uh, I'm was, i going to get healthy. I'm yeah. going to start filming crazy amounts again, just like I was when I was filming a little kid. Mm-hmm. Bring you it know, back. In 2011, I probably filmed the raw footage. It was probably 10 minutes of footage or something filming. It's insane. But no, that like from in 2000 and when I did this, I have like an hour, hours of footage. <laughs> yeah, it was back to what I used to do. 10 minutes um, is still insane, bro. <laughs> so yeah we just started getting into it and and that's when that that fashion video came about right um so yeah we did that video mm-hmm. um the one that was called shango's yeah that was brad obviously coming up with that name like of a, course like shango's like, Shang- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but he was the hashtag yeah. now it's called shango's so okay, fine, so he did okay. that and um i was soaked and he's always you know been creative with all that he's stuff. great so yeah did that and then um did you choose the song to that? Of course, yeah. yeah. So the way that something weird happened with that, we had, um, obviously the video is going on Thrasher. Mm-hmm. We had the video edited the day before, fully done, um, fully done, exported all that shit. And then uh, we had already talked to, or Thrasher, had, or someone had already talked to the people to get the song. Yep. And it was like five grand or something. Okay. Something um, that sounds like a lot, but that's no, kind of not bad. Kind of it's pretty average. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty average. So the promo comes out, which is not even a promo. I just did a line at this one plaza mm-hmm. in Melbourne. Um, I did a line there and uh, yeah that was the trailer that says like tomorrow, tomorrow or whatever the, yeah. whatever the fuck it said I can't remember but, sure. but um, and then the label hit him up and said 50 grand for the song because wow. cause, cause I think the video did good or something you know oh. they saw the results of the line you did something the, happened or maybe wow. it was the attachment to maybe like I had Nikes on or maybe oh, Thrasher okay. I don't know what it was but sometimes when those labels see big company then Maybe they were sold. It's just like Shane and just, just a video skate of his friends. Thing, yeah. And then it's like, no, nah, like there's logos on it, like right. a monster logo in the beginning or something. And, you know, so that happened and we had to change the song. Mm. But turned out for the better because we had, during that whole filming process, James being in LA and Melbourne, we all our like road trips and shit we'd go and we just listen to Beach House and that, that you know, that album. Okay. That one of the songs is. And so that's really the only song on that album that's fast enough to use. Mm. And we just like, what if we could get this Beach House song? And we did. So that that's was awesome. Song. That was wow. a good one. That was good. So you had to re-edit the whole part to yeah, that song. Yeah, it, it wasn't too difficult, wasn't though. It was okay. a similar, similar... Tempo? Tempo, yeah. Gotcha. So it wasn't okay. too hard, but that happened, and we're like, fuck. And then it worked out for the better. Yeah. Now it's cool because we, you know, it wasn't just a random song. Right. Like the song that we had chosen, I can't remember which of my friends had... Cause Always during parts, I like talk to my homies, get music, listen to it all, figure it out. Yeah, it's a big thing, music. Yeah, I'm, yeah. That's all I do. Sure. I listen to get the rights first before you post anything. Yeah. It sounds like they did, but. No, uh, they were in the process. You know right. how that, that yeah, yeah. takes a while. The paperwork mm-hmm. for that shit is just something. Yeah, yeah. a couple days. Let's get to um, well, yeah, primitive. Yeah. Okay, so. Leaving skate mental. Left skate mental. How was that? Leaving? Yeah, because okay. you got to call Brad. Brad. So yeah, I mean, Brad. What was it? What was, what was the all, decision behind that? I'll, Why? T- I'll tell you. First yeah. of all, Brad had been really, um, really good throughout this whole thing. When I when I was am, he just gave me boards. When I turned pro, 
let everything happen. Mm-hmm. Like not even his necessary, like, his company, he's not necessarily in the barracks or caring about anything like that. Like, right. I mean, I don't really go there too much anymore. Just, I just kind of grew out of doing stuff like that. Sure. But, but, um, yeah, he just let me be, he just let me do what I was doing. It was always cool. Like in this period of time where things weren't the greatest or mm-hmm. whatever, he was fine. He never said a thing. He was just always cool, you know? Yeah. And he just um, let things go. He just let everything ride out smooth, and we just did what we did. Right. So he was awesome the whole time. And then after that, after that video part, it was more just, for me, a personal thing. So this is 2015, mm-hmm. and that's when I found out I was having a child, you know? Okay. So I decided thinking life-wise, um, and at this point I'm in great headspace. Everything's cool. Like perfect. I, I feel like I figured shit out. You always never. Know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I figured shit out. So you no. know, I find that I'm like, I got to figure out what I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. Like what I'm really doing here. Like I'm, I'm on Nike. Everything's great. Things going good there. Yep. On all Spitfire Thunder, like which have been great to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and with Skate Mental, it was like everything's cool, but there's not a huge team doing anything, and it was somewhere that I thought. Um, could make change for me, you know. Gotcha. Like, yeah. I, I, there was no anything terrible, but it was like Paul had this this primitive stuff going on, and and I had a few friends. This is the the main thing that made this happen. I mm-hmm. had a few friends at the time who needed jobs and needed uh, not needed jobs, but like were qualified for things if we considered something. Sure. And and, uh, and a couple of skaters that wanted to do something, so I was like, okay. I'm going to do it then. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm just going to do it. I think with Skate Mental, our time is kind of run out, you know? We've mm-hmm. just done what we've done, and, and I just need to change. It's yeah. Not, it's not like anything bad happened or whatever. And meanwhile, P-Rod's built this yeah. insane yeah, team yeah, and, and I mean, program well, over there. it was still, yeah, he went from, yeah, shop to the way primitive. Yeah. It was amazing how that happened for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was going to... Oh, that's a weird topic. But so I was going to uh, potentially start a company at this point in time. Okay. And I was talking with Paul and we were maybe going to do it with Primitive. Mm-hmm. And I had another skater who I was paying my own money, which was Diego. Oh, okay. Um, and the Diego situation, like Felix had helped him a lot with his, like just getting him getting him out there. And, right. And he was on ammo and famous and stuff. And, mm-hmm. and everything was, you know, going there. Um, but I think Diego just wanted to change too. and right. And... So I was friends with him and I talked to him and, you know, we were going to do something. He, I was like, basically, hey, I'm going to figure this out. I'll pay you monthly. It didn't happen for long at all hmm. until um, I figured this out. And then it was either going to be a board company, which didn't work out. It made a lot more sense to, to ride for Primitive and, and they were, you know, giving me equity. And, right. And um, it just made a lot more sense in what was promised at the time or like what what the plans were with with these other friends that i had like jobs and stuff okay it, it just made perfect sense to do that with primitive it wasn't the team it is now with a lot more skaters there's a lot of people on yeah um which is good but it, mm-hmm. it's uh yeah so it was just different yeah. so i did it and it was cool and i put my effort into it you know did the the video did all that stuff you know um dash or, or gave me a cover which is awesome like i didn't even think that was possible you know okay. there's a switch for back nose bun in, in china that's oh, right yeah. yeah and you brought diego yeah. with you to primitive yeah i mean well paul yeah i brought diego i was like hey my requests were a i want to work with certain people mm-hmm. and b um you got to put diego on as well right because yeah there was a time though when when you didn't know whether you can do your own company and yeah, you were filming him at this time i, I was skating with a bunch that's when he had that crazy nolly tray yeah, yeah, yeah. that tense there but he i remember him be like dude do I ride for Shane O'Neill's company? I ride for Paul Rodriguez's company. I was like, fuck, that's quite a, hard- a dilemma. Yeah. 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 Seriously. <laughs> He's like, well, I don't know what to do. And then like that, so happy that it worked out that way where you guys yeah. all went together. Yeah. So, so Paul, um, obviously liked Diego skating a lot. Yeah. I think with him, it was more just kind of, um, he had, he has a, he knew Felix a lot better. I don't know. I don't even know. He didn't want to steal. Somebody. Yeah. I didn't even know how that went, went about, but but me and Diego, Diego and I talking wasn't like that. It was nothing to do with like, hey, like come off the ammo and stuff. Like, it wasn't like that. It was right. just like, hey, I need to do something. Like, yeah, let's. You, we and all- then it, and then it worked out perfectly, and that's what happened. Um, and it was some good. It was a couple years that mm-hmm. I rode for Primitive yep. And, yep. and was a part of it. But uh, yeah, we did some videos, did some crazy tours. You know, Primitive is a huge company, and and it's doing good, and and everything's cool. It's just uh, the reason that 
ended was because I have had again, like I had before, a lot of friends that are really talented people that that I really need to do stuff with. That's just how I've always felt in life. Like I want to do stuff with these people. That's why the filmers have always been the same this mm-hmm. whole time. Yep. They've been great friends to me this whole time. I've right. helped them as much as I can this whole time. Um, it's just important to me that this is able to happen. A few things happen, you know, that I don't really want to talk about mm-hmm. because it's whatever. Business but, yeah, and just whatever. Just some business yeah. shit happen. It's more just like... Yeah, it yeah. Di- it didn't make sense for me to be on something like that for what was happening. It just didn't make any sense, and I'm like, dude, I have all these other skaters that want to do stuff, and we can't do it here. So I almost was gonna do the company with Primitive, and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, it didn't work. I don't yeah. know why huh. it didn't work. Okay, yeah. how was the discussion with Paul though? You know, I mean, you you guys have been boys for discussion forever. with Paul was um, hard because you know. I was so excited to do this whole primitive thing and to be a part of it and yeah. and and give my two cents and and skate. Mm-hmm. And Plus, go. you own a little bit of it too, which yeah, is great. I did. As well, I did. Yeah. You know? um, it's cool. It, it was cool, you know. But I also I learned a lot from that because ownership is cool, but depends on what the plans are. True. Depends on what the plans are, and True. I didn't really think that out. And I was also told a little bit different. Oh, okay. Nothing crazy. Nothing. No. There's no bad feelings. Everything's cool. Right. They have their percentage now. I didn't take it. It wasn't like. Oh, you gave like your that. percentage of back. Of course. To yeah. Them. It was just like, hey, Paul. Like, I'm. I need to do this. I tried to do it with you guys, but it's not working Terrible. out because of certain people or gotcha. whatever. Okay. It's not working out. Um. So yeah, it, it wasn't. And he and he has he's done this shit himself. Right. He's a he result knows. of this. He knows. You know, and he understands. And I wish it was different. You know, yeah, I wish yeah. it would have been able to either work out in some other way or, but moving forward to right now, I um, t- couldn't be happier. Right. Absolutely couldn't, could not be happier. Yeah. So April, right. Is that your daughter's name? No. No. <laughs> no. A lot of people ask me that. Yeah. My daughter's name is Why April? Okay. Well, backstory on that. Sure. Backstory. So yeah. Chris Middlebrook, basically my dad, filmer. Um, worked at Nike for a long time. Okay. Great. One of my best friends for sure. Yeah. Um, he, about a year ago, stopped working at Nike. So this is 15 years or something or okay. a little less of working for Nike. He mm-hmm. doesn't work there anymore. So I'm instantly like, damn, I need to work this out with him. I need to be doing this. He's only worked at Nike and I've only been there. And it's like, you know, so he's working out what to do. Um, and in this period before he was even uh before, before he even left Nike or before what happened happened with Nike, uh-huh. he uh, which was all good. But, yeah, yeah. But um, he wanted to do an Australian board company. He had a few names in mind. April was one of them. Okay. And it was just, this was just him at this point in time. Yeah. A- April was one of them. He had a few different names. Um, and then he wasn't able to do it just because he was like also a brand manager for Nike. It's like you can't do that. You know, gotcha. you can't like be. It's, yeah, yeah. it's com- conflict of interest. You're double dipping. Yeah. yeah, it's a whole thing. But he was just trying to do it in Australia. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. So fast forward, he doesn't work at Nike. Um, I'm talking to him and I'm like, Primitive's the only area of, similar when I did the skate mental thing, it's the only area that could be improved and would be fine on both ends. Like fine for Primitive if I left mm-hmm. and fine for me, really good for me if I okay. left, you know? Okay, sure. So it was like... It, it, it definitely made sense and to do that with him i could have tried to bring him into primitive but it wasn't a there wasn't a way for that to work and he also wants to live in australia and come back and forth right so there, it wasn't possible mm-hmm. so then you know we talked about things and and it started to really look promising and mm. certain things happened at primitive nothing crazy again but it's just like i had to leave so okay then we went for it and then basically yeah he had the name we were choosing we we're choosing names and i just liked that a lot and he had his reasoning for it he has his reasoning for it a not my daughter's name <laughs> okay. B, okay absolutely nothing to do with teenage mutant ninja turtles okay <laughs> <laughs> two things that i've been hearing a lot oh um, wow so i didn't even think about that one so he has his reasoning my reasoning is more just i really like the name it's an actual name yeah i like the way it looks mm-hmm. um and it's short it's sweet it just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just really like it and he has his more probably intricate reasoning for okay you know, but that's it and um Uh-oh. and yeah so we we you know i'm off primitive starting yep. this trying to figure out like who who do we want on the team how do i want it to be like do i want a mega team do i want all these what is it what what can it be it could have been anything sure could have been anything for sure i got a lot of people hitting us up about it a lot of pros a I lot bet, of, um, i bet just because they they know my approach to 
making videos, mm-hmm. make, you know, making sure stuff happens. I'm not like a flaky person. So, right, right. You know, I think that's why, maybe. Okay, yeah. And, and yeah, it's very flattering. But I did start it with, with a lot of friends. And, a, mm-hmm. you know, you look at Ish and Ronnie and um, they were on a company that just wasn't doing anything with them. Gotcha. And, uh, yeah, I didn't want to steal anyone from, from people. You right. Know, it was just more like... They're not doing anything, and I love these kids. They're so sick, like they're skating sick. I want to put them on and and be able to make this so viable that their other sponsors really have to pay attention to them. Right. You know? And that's yeah. the most important thing. Um, when I was young, like when I was on Almost and all those things, and for every other kid out there, all the companies do is just put them on flow, and then that's it. Like mm-hmm. they put them on flow and then, yeah, maybe they'll get there. They'll turn M, whatever. Right. But to me, when I see the potential, I would much rather, and maybe it's a different approach. I'd much rather take the potential that they have as good people and good skaters mm-hmm. and just give them the quick opportunity, give yeah. them the opportunity, see how they go with it. And if it doesn't go anywhere, then at least I tried for them. Right. I didn't like, I'm not, it's not a company where I'm just going to be given, f- no one's going to be on flow. You know, yeah. no one's going to be on flow. No one's on flow. No, no one. Kelly, you said you were on flow. What happened? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, know, put me, don't put me on blast, dude. My bad, my bad. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just I don't know. No, but, but that's a great approach, we'll though. I like that because a lot of people get lost in the flow world and all that stuff. Yeah, and, and, it's, I, and, and with this time now, with all the Instagram stuff, yep. what are you waiting for? Right. Like, what's the company you're actually waiting for? Then maybe they don't have the budget, but it's like you're not really paying these kids a lot. They're just... sure. I'm just giving them the opportunity to travel with me for these videos, make some stuff for us, mm-hmm. with us, yep. and see where they go. The, the potential is good. And also, because I'm older or, you know, a little older, I have, um, and I'm super used to, you know, talking to people that work at companies and this and that, you know, example, Ronnie rides for whatever. I'll talk to those people, tell them what's going on, give them information. This is where we're right. taking it with them. This is what we're doing, you know. Yeah, and, and if it's not plans. working out, if it doesn't work out for them at that company, if the company's not interested, then I will find something for them. Right, I'll make yeah. it happen for them. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm interested in it like that. I'm not just like, hey, like we have this kid, like put him on. You know, I'm I'm really trying to help them because it's what I got without anyone actually doing it. It's funny because I, I feel like there was a point in time as well where companies would do that for yeah. their riders. And I think that's kind of gone it's now. It's gone, yeah. You know, it, where it's like kind of like, hey, here you go. Here's a, here's a platform. Now go off and do everything yourself. Yeah. You know, and it's like, y- you kind of need support of course, from your yeah. board well, sponsors. It, it's kind of cool too, because you said you grew up like with Paul and yeah. Paul's introducing you to people. You're kind of doing the same thing, but a lot more for these kids. Mm-hmm. No, like, not necessarily. What Paul did back then was uh, equal to this. It's just a different time. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. like what Paul did showing me to those people or whatever, not meaning to, but, but that is the same as like, there wasn't that many skaters that there were, there was compared to maybe this True. the eighties, but yeah. now there's so many skaters and they're all so good. So for me and for all the companies, the bigger companies, they don't care about that. Yeah. You have to show them that people back you. You're a nice, nice, cool person. It's, you know, yeah, it's so important. Now. What, it's not just skating. It goes a lot deeper than yeah. skating. I was just going to yeah. say like, what, what advice, lucky. what advice to kids would you give now? Like what? For, for coming up in skating. I mean, straight skate, number one, Street skate because you know, and I'm obviously a culprit of this, I guess. I, like the skate park shit, it's just it's just easy. It's just yeah. like what's easy. Oh, I need to post something. Go to a skate park. Dude. Right. Um, it's not necessarily gonna get you. I don't know. It, it's it's a very hard one because you have the the contest skaters and then you have just traditional street skaters. But for those traditional street skaters that only film parts and don't really Instagram and stuff it's kind of gone now man yeah and it sucks because that's what i love and i love when those those kids come i'm like damn he's fucking insane you know so good i love that stuff but it's very hard to make make it work that way unless you're in a cool crew you know unless mm. you got a cool click or I yeah it's true yeah. yeah as a single kid which is really what the question is like it's very it's very hard you just got to be cool and and skate like street skate, film street a lot, skate yeah. yeah i mean i guess my advice would be street skate go as hard as you can and just instagram it just yeah. just instagram it. just go hard on instagram because you never know who's watching if you that. film a whole part you film a whole part you put it out some people watch it whatever and then it's gone they don't mm-hmm. know what you were doing that whole time filming if you're just filming and putting shit out they're seeing the result and then and then you'll probably get on and then you can do that for them True. but there's no point filming that crazy video part 
um, like constantly. I mean, obviously you want to whatever, yeah. but like constantly saving footage if you're not even on anything, because this is what the companies do. They say, oh, look at all that footage. We'll put him on flow. Give us that footage. And they put it out. And then to get on properly, you're expected to do that again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then again, and then it's just like, yeah. Well, right, as a pro, right. you're like, you kind of do it both ways where you're like, it seems like you save for a video part and then you're also Instagram at the same time. I do all the all of the above. Hey, you yeah. do everything. Because, and that's a true, true pro skateboarder. But right that's there. because, no, it's like, it, it is, but it's, Nothing's a true pro. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. Know. I don't want to say that. <laughs> it's, it's more just that I'm used to that, and I I like that. I like doing that. Should I have a skate park? I fucking put all my effort into getting that. Yeah. Um. I'm in the contest. I'm at demos. I'm on a lot of trip. It's very different because I'm naturally there, opposed to a skater that maybe doesn't have that support. Like they're not just not going to be everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm just in everything when it comes to that shit. So. Yeah, and yeah, back to the contest stuff. Like if if it wasn't going so so well or anything, I probably wouldn't be there. You know. Yeah, yeah. true. I just probably you know p- post Instagrams, film, and, and seems like and, you have a nice balance though. Yeah, you know a, what you, you you know what you're going to film for your video part, and you you kind of know what you're going to put on Instagram. Million you know, percent, it's like yeah. I, you, even even lately, I've become more to the point of all the tricks I want to do, I'm just going to do them, and I'm going to put them out. And if I'm filming for my part, cool. There's a couple tricks I really want to do. Right. But I started noticing that just life is gone, dude. Flies. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Every, you guys know. Right? Oh, yeah. Shit's gone. I'm like, damn, if I'm not doing them today, then when am I actually going to do this? Right. If I'm doing it, if I'm not even trying it because I'm waiting to film it somewhere or go somewhere, when am I actually going to do it? When are you going to do it? Yeah. yeah. And then when you get injuries and you're like, fuck, dude, I should have just done that. Should have yeah. done it. Seriously. So definitely a result of watching older skaters and, and the younger ones and just trying to make sure that before time's out get just, it in yeah yeah and then how so april you just kind of came up with this a couple months ago right yeah. three four months well, ago maybe yeah it's been out for three months yeah we worked on it for nine or so months yep um i it could have been sooner and i could have had more footage i'm filming for something else okay i can't really it's a nike thing sure um Dope. is yeah. there is Dope. there some product that's going to come with that uh. <laughs> Another Janowski colorway? No. Yeah, why? Let, let's talk about the Janowski colorway real quick. You know, how how do you feel now about the 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 climate out there with like not a lot of people are getting pro shoes again. It's kind of colorways and stuff. And you picked you skated you skate Janowskis religiously. Of course, I mean, yeah, uh, I've skated Janowskis ever since they came out. Yeah, um, it's just been my choice of shoe. Mm-hmm. Got them on your feet right of now. Course, yeah, I got yeah. some slip ons on. Uh, and that was offered to me. Um, obviously, I, you know, the dream is the dream. Have your own shoe. Of course, yes. Yes. which will, may happen. Okay. <laughs> I love, that. I love, that. I love that attitude. It yes. may happen, but right. um, that's what was offered to me at the time. And it made sense to me to to do it. And I was yeah. down. I first originally was like, wait, Stefan would do that? Like, that's kind of weird. It's two names on a shoe. Yeah. Um, but dude, the Stefan shoe is its own beast. It, it is. is. Yeah, it totally. is. It's its own beast. And I've skated the whole time and he, he was down and he let that happen. Okay. So I was, um, yeah, I was like, cool. I'm filming for this part that I want to do. I liked the, the concept around like what it was, it was a high tape and whatever. Mm-hmm, it's, mm-hmm. It's what I was into. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I just, it, it's like, it wasn't that crazy. They just, they offered me that and of course I'm going to accept it yeah, of at course. the time. That's what was up on the table yeah and uh film for it and there you, know. you go because okay. i the ads around that whole shoe were nothing that was in the part i just did that one trip in melbourne with jake and shot the photos mm. and imagery mm-hmm. but um that whole part i was filming for a little bit like i actually only filmed the, the last couple months for that i don't mm. know why i gotta stop doing that but <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's dude you know you know yeah, yeah i mean no not, one does yeah. shit till the end yeah just no constantly no. be stacking yeah <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think anybody would jump on the opportunity to put their name on a Janowski. Yeah, well, so you know, yeah, ways. so I was. Um, it just made sense at the, you know, and yeah. and the way I'm happy with it. That's Very amazing. Happy. And then the, obviously the dreams and aspirations continue until right. we see. Yeah. But I'm, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very lucky. Things are good, and it's amazing. And yeah, I'm appreciative of all that. And so I wouldn't have not done it. You know, yep, right. No yeah, right, for sure. Well, with with Stefan's blessing as well. Uh, no, you know? yeah, of yeah, course. for sure. Yeah. yeah, I texted him and said that. You know, okay, he's a great guy. Stefan, he would never awesome. say no. I mean, he has every right to say no. That's his shoe. Of they course. have to pay double royalties. Yeah, blah, 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 yeah, you know? it's a whole thing. Maybe I should text him. <laughs> so, um, nine club collabo. Th- so April. Now yeah. you're you went from skater. Yep. 
the company to owner. Still skater. <laughs> I know you're still skater, but you own a well, company. You own a board company. It was the same primitive. Same. True. But they already had their. This is a brand new thing. It's a brand new. You thing. had to. You had to. You know. Yeah. Come up with both. the whole yeah. concept and, and, like and writers and the whole. You know. And like you said, you're like you're talking with these kids, trying to help them out. It's yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah it's so, so easy. How so? Are you kind of like a team manager in a, in a in no? A I'm not. No, I'm not He's, a team manager. I'm saying on the back end of things, okay. if they need help getting further where with the other sponsors they have, I'm going to make that happen. And fortunately, that I don't take advantage of this. And I've never taken advantage of it, but if I approach someone a certain like you know and tell them what's going on and give them information, they believe what's going to happen and it happens. Right. Mm-hmm. And it happened. You yeah. know, it's not like you know. It's a similar thing with Nike. They've literally let me do whatever for years because they're like, he'll go film these parts. We'll just send him wherever I go to China every now and then with the yeah, homies, yeah, yeah. and, and he'll you're just come up job. with it. Yeah. yeah. We'll give him a shoe, and he'll just go film a part for it, and that's it. And that process has helped with everything and i see it for these kids right just right. trying to help them in that it's no not, no it's amazing it's not many people and they're all my friends it's not a mission it's yeah, not like yeah. fuck i'm fucking yeah you got a great squad though yo yo and all these dudes it's just it's amazing like i was saying before man it's not a, it doesn't have to be a super team mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be all known people it doesn't have to be anything right it, anymore you know it's yeah not, we're li- it's literally everything's based off social media and it sounds like your partner <laughs> is really um you know, it's my dad. <laughs> it seems like, you know, that's a great partner to have as well. Cause he's taking on a lot of the uh, business end of it too. And letting well, you doing, do your he, thing skating. Yeah, and stuff. He does the management side of things of, um, just logistics, you know, were you scared for what to just jump into your own thing? For what? I don't know. I'm just I, like, uh, you nah, know, starting this in this, yeah, dude, that you in, know the in, age and it sucks yeah. to say this, but no one needs any board company sponsors. <laughs> Nowadays it's <laughs> true. No one it's pays true. any money. Right. No one does anything but want, want, want. So. Well, it's funny. You it's have true. Like a, you know, I'm I, doing this. I'm doing April because I wanted to be able to film whatever I wanted for the rest of my career without mm-hmm. having certain things happen. Yeah. I'm not going to name them, but certain things happen that, and then. And then just being able to let everyone do their thing and help them. It's yeah. not like some pyramid scheme to try to fucking take over the world or some shit. You know, I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, let's right. say like let's say this happened ten years ago. Let's yeah. just say you, you were on a board sponsor and then you left. I mean, especially but, primitive because it, it is a great big company. Yeah. yeah. It'd be yeah. Very would, weird. Other like, sponsors yeah. would probably get weirded out, like, dude, you need to find a board sponsor. Like ten oh, years ago. Ten years ago, ten years yeah, ago for, for sure, sure, right? Yeah. So depends, depends. Yeah. You think of I don't know, I'm not I'm not it's hard to name a name because I'm not trying to put myself in their category, but you yeah. think of all those, you know, the, the Carols and the Howards, like, yeah. they did that. Yeah. Even their prime, and it works, and yeah. it worked. Right. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Reynolds. Carol and Rick did it when, like, they were 20 years yeah. old. Yeah. That's, and they mm-hmm. left the biggest company, right? Yeah. And did it, and made it happen, and, and But know. I'm saying you is now, because now Nike's involved, and you have all these other sponsors, they're like, well, the Nike, I just because at one point the board sponsor was the main sponsor. You couldn't even get on a, a shoe yeah. company without a board no, sponsor. No, yeah, so yeah, yeah there, there's a and I watched a Jason Dill episode, and what he says is completely true about it's your identity. The board company is your identity, and that's where I felt this is not my identity. Oh, this is not what I'm into. Right, it's, it's not, and it's not a bad thing that people are doing. Mm-hmm. But it's just not what I want to do for the rest of my career. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all. And yeah, by like when I said you don't have to have a board sponsor, you don't have to 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 get you know to get your to get known. Or no, like, yeah. but yeah, I'm yeah. saying like for me, yeah, it's still it's still I wanted a board company and I wanted to be with Chris and I wanted to be with these people in a certain way, mm-hmm. um, and however they want it too, right? Because that's our that's our vibe, that's our home. Like you, know? you said, like you, I mean, it seems like you just want to take care of your friends as well. You know, you want to do rad shit, fun shit. You want to skate, and then also it's have a all, it's, bring it's, your friends along for the ride. Of course, and you know? it's, it's all just been happening this whole time. It's normal. It's absolutely normal. Nothing changed. You know? Yeah. The only thing that gets real is like bills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fat bills. You know. Yeah, but. Right. Well, dude, it's also cool. You got the turn Uto Pro. How did that like that? That was been... that was super cool. Yeah. So history with Uto. Mm-hmm. Um, before, once I was off skate mental, he had about, it's kind of irrelevant, but he had a couple thousand followers, nothing like 4,000 or something. Okay. So basically I'm just saying that because he wasn't seen, yeah. but he'd post videos and, and every single time people would tag me in them. And it's like him doing the similar tricks that I do, oh. like you know, the weird Nolly 540 big spin. Okay, shit. Sure. Yeah. And I was just like, dude, this kid's literally just like doing my tricks. But then he would also be doing other crazy tricks like 
crazy a trick. So whatever. Skating vert. Right. <laughs> skating vert, doing yeah. switchback 180 front crooks at you know what he does. Seriously. You tell him. So yeah. I message him, I'm like, hey, um, Quit buying my shit. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. stop <laughs> doing my tricks. <laughs> nah, I was like, hey, uh, this is when, you know, like Diego and I are working our stuff out. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, um, I have the DM. It's pretty funny. Like, I have the message to Utah. And the, the replies. It doesn't even speak even English. From him. It's not even from him. From him. Oh, it's message. from somebody else. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, like, it's from a manager or something. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Um, and I said to him, I was like, hey, like, do you have a board sponsor? Um, you know, I would I would like to help you if, mm -hmm. you, if you're interested. And he's like, oh, thank you so much. I actually uh, just sign a contract for blind or whatever thank you for offering i was like hey cool um if you ever need any help with anything in the future just let me know just as, oh, just no, yeah. i was just trying to be nice reach you know? out, yeah. yeah reaching out because i saw that he was really good really mm -hmm. good at skating no i don't care like no uh agenda just like he's good at skating That's, right i want to skate with someone like that i like that yeah um so message him no, i got him primitive all that stuff happened um he's still on blind yep, and then yep. Just before I was off primitive, I don't know what happened, but he thought that I was still on primitive, and he wanted to to do whatever I was doing because, okay. and then he found out what I was doing. Right. You know? So he was like, "I really want to do that, you know, be a part of that." And so Sick. we just had to work out lo logistics with blind and stuff right, like that. Right, right, right. I didn't approach him because like, I didn't want to steal him because this is the peer where he's. He's blowing up, you know? Yeah. Facts. Oh, yeah. He's blowing up. He's insane. He's one of the most incredible young skaters that can do anything. Yes. And people are still figuring this out. Like, they're still finding out, like, oh, he can literally skate anything. Yeah. yeah. Me too. I see him. I'm like, what the? It's yeah. insane. It's fucking nuts. And it's he's insane. in the contest, too. He's, yeah. like, one of the top dudes. Yeah. I heard Weiss wanted to turn him pro. Had a board yeah, made for him. Yeah, it was at Street League. We, was going to give him a pro board, and the manager stopped him, like, no, you're not doing that. Yeah, at the Utah, contest. Utah is absolutely... So, Utah was... He understands everything super well, but he's not. He can't speak English too well. Obviously, mm -hmm. now he can. Oh, he's getting yeah. better. Good. I mean, he lives here. He's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he lives here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But he, but he understands skating and and the look of skating and everything about it. You know. So he just was on a lot of sponsors, just like a little kid, and, and just like, hey, ride for this, ride for this, not for money or something. It's just like ride for this, and you do that when you're a little kid. Sure. Yeah. Just so happened that he blew up so fast that people soon knew he was on those companies. You know, mm -hmm. he still knew, and. He, uh, yeah, he didn't want to, and so he started like quitting the sponsors and kind of creating himself as a person. Like, I want to do this uh, this way, and blah blah blah. So we figured it out, um, work it out with them. It took a long time, which is a, long, a, a reason that this took so long okay. to come out. And we figured it out, and we have another pro who is going to be on the next boards that come out. Soon. Oh, okay, sick. But. Things happened with him, and it didn't work out in the timing because I wanted to launch April, have uh, myself and this other person as the pro. I would never start a company by myself. That's why I have all the friends. And <laughs> yeah. I don't, it's not a selfish. It's not a self-centered thing. I'm yeah. trying to be on the back end of it, but obviously at this point in time, I'm the only one of the only pro skaters on it. So it was going to be me and this other skater, and Uto was in the promo plans. He was in the yeah. promo. Then four months later, which is when we're dropping this new stuff, he was going to turn pro. Okay. Um, didn't work out with the other thing and so i was like okay well, well i don't want to be the only pro so i have to do it with utah you know like, yeah that's yeah a, the only the only option and he totally deserves it yeah no oh and, and, and it was like it was oh, so like, it was deserved way before even we thought of like do it second season or range or whatever right but i thought it was too obvious because it's he's obviously going to be pro so i thought it'd be cool to be like why isn't he pro again like you know right yeah, so yeah, yeah. anyway whatever just bullshit thinking about whatever but um Huh. Yeah, we did it, and it was so successful for him that it made me so happy. Because I was worried, like, okay, I'm launching this company this day, and the boards are on the website, but we're not going to announce that he's pro till later, so we get some shine on it. Yeah, Because yeah, just yeah. the posting. People right. don't even, I don't even know. No one even said anything to me. I know people noticed it, but it was just like, yeah. no one even said anything. Oh, that you had his boards on the yeah. website first? Oh, but and they then were already had... sold to skate shops, so they, people already knew. Oh, gotcha, okay. So did just, he know? He knew. He didn't know when I caked him. That day? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no. no. Okay. So this that was is how, the first time he saw his boards or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So th this is how that went. Um, we had gotten all the samples finally to skate the board. We went to Australia before the promo came out to finish the promo. That's why majority of the promo is blank boards. We mm. only got that that those boards in on that Austra Australia trip to oh. Melbourne. So if you notice through the promo, it's blanks until that trip, which mm. any Melbourne footage is, is the real boards. Gotcha. So we got the real boards. Um, everyone got them all, all five or like whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
yeah, we didn't give him his board. And this was the trip. This was a week before the everything was coming out. We didn't give him his board. Okay. So he, Kevin took him his boards in Pasadena, wherever he lives. And uh, and he's like, oh, wait. He gave him four, you know. And Yuto knew there was five. He knew he was pro. But he's like, oh, no, like, we're still working it out. Like, he's four. <laughs> so he just goes to Australia okay. with the four boards, yeah. <laughs> and then that day, we just, we, we planned it. It was like, he came a couple days late to the trip. And we'd already planned what we were going to do. Right. In the IMAX, the Mel Museum, where we did it. Um, we just had the cakes behind the ledge. Uh, I was pretending to shoot a, a photo with Jake, like just a life style photo or whatever. Sure. Shoot a photo with him. And Kev had him walking up because they Kev went with him to look around town and just said, they're chilling today. Okay. So, yeah, we're, we're there. He walks up and, and then um, I'm like, hey, you two, shoot a photo with me. And and. Jake and I, he wants to shoot a photo of us. So he comes over to me and he's like all sleepy, like Utah, like <laughs> <laughs> trying to wake up basically. It was kind of yeah. early. Um, and then, and then, uh, yeah, we take the photo, just him and I. Uh-huh. And then I'm like, it was all super planned, but easy because he is not thinking of anything. <laughs> not thinking of anything he's at all. He's going on autopilot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not like fishy or anything. You yeah. know? So I'm like, hey, like everyone, let's get a group photo. So they come over, but he's already like, I've already got him like this. So he's not looking anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And they come over and then that's that. Oh, okay. Uh, that's when yeah. we did that. So it's, so it's just something fun to do. It was like, this kid fucking knows he's pro. He's yeah. insane. You know, it's not like. And like you said before, like you think it, you think that that should be a, a discussion with the writers too. Of is course, having yeah. knowing that they're pro. My, yeah, but that was my concern when we started the company. It's like I don't know how this is company's gonna go. Plus, I'm turning him pro, and like I know I'm a pro skater and stuff, but I'm not. I'm not like self centered to the fact that I think my company's a real thing. You know, it's like mm. I'm turning someone pro. Right. I'm really, is that it's illegal? It's a big deal. Is that illegal? <laughs> There's no union. I just right, started right. a company myself as a pro skater right. and made him pro. Like, is that cool or no? I don't know. I mean, it's happened. It happened and it happens, but, hey, but it was really successful for him. And yeah. he saw a lot of, um, I guess, encouragement or, or just like everyone was excited for him and mm-hmm. all the posts did really good which I guess is some weird way of 2019 saying like thumbs up like you know? judging the, yeah, yeah. the reaction so yeah. it was it was fucking insane like yeah. for real it was more than I could have thought and and I was proud that it happened that way for him because he deserves that you know because yeah. he could have gone on any company he could have been on Primitive he could have oh, been yeah. on for Baker. sure could, I mean I don't know chocolate yeah chocolate. <laughs> man look at you turning I, I people pro Baker. bro I don't know. Look at you. I love it. What do you What do you guys think? Is that cool or not? That's amazing. Okay. If Shane O'Neill turned me pro, I I'd know. Be like, yeah, that's cool. But see, I look at it differently. I'm not looking at it like that at all. You're looking at it through your own person, eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you got to sometimes you got to step back and take a look. Yeah. Especially yeah. with this show as well. You know, it's like we just look at it through our own eyes. We just you know, guess sit down, we talk, blah, blah, blah. But then when you start hearing from the outside world, you take yeah, a step yeah. back and you look back in, you're like, oh, wow, well, this is really cool. It is really You know cool. what I mean? I'll watch them all. Something I want to know. Let's see it. From Mr. Shane O'Neill, bro. What, you're really good at skating. You know, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know if people, I don't know if people know that, but Thanks. um, you, how, like, what's your thought process of like, you know, tech, Okay. Right. You know, your tech, you do a, you know, tray flip, nose blunt, nollie flip out, all this crazy shit. Switch, switch tray flip, nose blunt. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot that part. Right. <laughs> What's your, like, what is your thought process going into these tricks? Like, do you know that like, okay, well, I know I can switch tray. I'm going to do it in, bl- then I know I can nollie flip out of this or fakey, fl- whatever it is. Like, do yeah, you have yeah. like this like thought process of, of, I mean, coming up with these tricks, but then let alone pulling them off. Yeah. Um, because you said earlier, some you know, sometimes it takes you a long time to do these tricks. You got to test the water. You got a long time, you know? Yeah, well, no, nah, it just, it's kind of just based off what tricks I do and then what's next from that. You mm-hmm. know, it's not, every now and then I'll come up with something that I've never really touched base on, just out of the blue. Okay. But I had been doing switch tray nose blunts, you know, so... The only real thing to do out of that is a fakie flip, right? right. Yeah. Maybe a hill sure. flip, that, yeah. you know. And I, and I, that's the way I skate. I like doing that shit. I yeah. like learning a new trick. I like doing it. Um, have you ever in different ways? It's, it's just. Have you ever developed a trick on accident and then like, oh shit, I could actually maybe do that? I've definitely landed tricks that I didn't think I could do. Oh sure. yeah, yeah. Just tried them. I've Ooh. tried every trick. No <laughs> just, I'm sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's a lot of tricks out of that, man. What about the one you did back, what I'm one, in. back 1A nose grind, switch big spin inward heel flip out? Yeah, that was pretty random. Yeah, how did that one? <laughs> you like literally thought of that, or did you just kind of like... No, I had tried it before, uh, randomly. Yeah. And... Uh, that's a fun did it. <laughs> do, you a, do you have a trick list? Do you have like? Do you ever write, a, sh- you have, write shit down? I've written shit down because I think of way too many things. Right. But I never things. look at it though. That's that's really? my big thing. Yeah, I, I have a list. Uh, or list, just phone shit, just notes. Yeah, of course. If I think of a random trick, I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. But I never, never think about it. Huh. And what? then I'll just be skating and then something will pop up and you know that's how it goes. Is there a, a flat ground? I mean, a, like a tech trick that that maybe. Off There's the top of your head, that took you a long time, maybe days, going back and back and trying it and trying it? Um, there is one, but I haven't landed it. Oh. And, uh, I have a video part coming out. Okay. I'm not promoting it because I don't have the date. And I don't <laughs> yeah. People will be asking me that. But, um, 9, 9, 19. 20, 20, 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, there have been tricks that have taken ages. I'm just trying mm. to think. Like when I did a switch for back tail, backside 360 kick flip. Yeah. That one took just two different days because I did it first day, but I tic tac and then I went and watched the footage and Transor video was coming out soon after. Mm-hmm. So I just went back and did it. Okay. Yeah, and like I was saying, ended up doing it properly or yeah. whatever I thought was properly. Huh. What about... There's what been a-, a lot of tricks though that take ages, but I've never really... No, I kind of give up. Uh, do you where, no i don't what, give like, up what, what's the time period of like okay dude like i just gotta let this go and come back the next day i mean are you like Actually, physically I, is it mentally exhausted or a, are, it depends on what like there's been rail tricks that are tech tricks that are just too dangerous kind of to keep trying okay you know? and uh shit like that yeah but lead tricks no nah, there's not besides ones that i'm gonna go do there's never been one that i'm like oh i'm just giving up that's it i'm not trying you know not no, not giving up completely, but maybe coming back the next day or the next weekend. Yeah, you know, of just like, dude, I can't. This is just uh, that always happens. Though. Yeah, yeah, that happens true. with not just tech tricks. That's like I don't want to do that right now. Yeah, <laughs> but I I noticed in some of your parts too that even Spanish was mentioning this that there's a lot of old like old spots that no one skated for a while that you could kind yeah, of res- yeah. you kind of bring back. Well. Yeah, I live in the valley and I grew up obviously watching Yeah Ride and and the flip videos and all those videos. Um, so knowing they're there and you can just fix them or mm, whatever yeah. you need to do to fix yeah. those spots, I, I enjoy that. Right. I go back there. Like in the last video I had, I skated in an auto stair spot. Nothing, exactly. There's nothing extraordinary about that spot. It's just a, in a hallway, a super smooth nine stair. But I grew up watching that those lines he did as most of the people my age did right the nollie backside flip you know you know mm-hmm. the dude i'm in yeah. the, when he lands it i'm stand, wait no i'm the one the stairs. Oh, yeah i'm the, in the background how many, again what it, <laughs> how are you in tosh town and side of the i don't park? know i was like forrest gump oh, yeah. i was i was i was skating a lot of spots back then okay. that was the fontana spot wait didn't you nollie v flip it or something i did and i half got flipped it and yeah. arto was holding the lights for me and I was okay. like, this is the weirdest moment of my life. But I, I landed, he, when he lands that you trick. You really feel the, like, skaters, huh? Like, you like, I, I don't know. I like, <laughs> <laughs> Super fan. Uh, I'm, I just, like, a, you know, it's fun. I didn't go there with them. I was just there. Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was fun. Anyways. Yeah. But I know, like, so it was that spot specifically that I saw. I was like, damn. Yeah. But did you know those benches were there? No, we brought the bench there. There's nothing at that mm. school. You've, have you been there? It's like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Or not, it's in Rialto or something. Right. Yeah, yeah. Something mm. near there. Uh, but uh, the school has nothing in it. The fence we had to do a little something to. You okay, know? yeah, yeah. And yeah, skateboard. Yeah. But I've been doing that with valley spots and those spots just from seeing old videos. And not for nothing, the they're just really good spots. Right. I'm not doing it to be like, oh, I skated this, so you know. Yeah. yeah it's just because yeah, yeah. they're really good. Like Silmar Rail will be unnubbed every now and then. The blue rail. Oh, yeah. You guys yeah. know it, but mm-hmm. some people watching might not know. Right. I'm sure they do though. Yeah. The P Rod skates it a lot. The P Rod rail. Yeah. 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 Let's just call it that. Or yeah. the Costin rail. Switch nose blind. That ad was in everything. Remember that? Yeah. The photo? Yeah. Switch nose blind. Switch nose blind. But um Yeah, that spot is just one of the best rails. So it's just gonna continue to be knobbed and unnubbed for sure. The rest of time. When's yeah. the last time that spot was skatable? Um, I skated it when I was filming the last video. Uh, it was unnobbed, but when was that? That was like 2017, oh, late, okay. late 2017. I think it might be unnobbed. I don't know. Okay. Those rails are steep, though. They're steep, yeah. It's, yeah. it's way more difficult than it looks, but they're perfect in the sense of, you know, yeah. the straight right. rails and never, you know. Yeah, totally. What, what size board do you ride? Uh, 8125. 8125. 50s? 
50s. Mm. And you've been riding the same shape for a long time, long right? Long time, yes. Skate mental boards want this wood. This okay. wood uh, is a little different, baby ass, but. Yeah. Was that hard for you, though? To nah, switch? No, I switched from that to primitive, which is the same mm -hmm. as the April boards. And uh, What about switching from the skate metal boards to... No, no, okay. no, no, that's what I'm lot... saying. That's not, that wasn't that hard. Oh. It was a little weird. Like, the wheelbase stuff was a little different, mm. and the kicks were a little different. But the yeah. shape, similar, like, pretty squared off. Um, just feels good. I don't know. I'm not I'm not really that picky when it comes to that. I'm just used to that setup. I'm not going to change probably ever. Hey, if it ain't broke... I don't know if it's broke. Why fix it? It might be. Yeah. I, don't I don't think. think it, I, yeah, I don't think, I don't it's think you got a problem with it. Yeah, yeah. I think you're crazy. good. It's just yeah. green screen. Just green. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about real quick because um, the Olympics is coming up. You know, we got up. Shane O'Neill uh, skating for. I'm, no. the, I'm the announcer, right? Uh, okay. Shane O'Neill skating for Australia. <laughs> Still crook nollie flips. <laughs> <laughs> you got them on no, the No, how's that? Are you going to be on the team or how's that? What, what's the what's the process right there looking like? There's no teams yet. No you know, teams. I, right. U.S. announced that team, but it's but it's not an actual thing because you need to qualify. Right. So there's you have to come top 20 or some shit sure. like that. Um, so I'm not sure. We'll see how I go to get there. And if I get there, cool. Um, I'll be doing it for Oz and yeah, whatever. Right. But it's just a contest. I think there's a lot of... I don't know. We'll see. I can't. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not too big on thinking or caring about, you know. I, I just hope that I, and I, I definitely relay this message to the people there, that I don't have to wear or do anything stupid, like wild, you know. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, that's all. That's, I'm not wearing spandex. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what they are thinking because right. it's just new and... Well, there's for sure going to be, I would I, say, jerseys I, I, of some sort. People, yeah. I, and I don't know if, actually, I don't know if you need to wear jerseys when you're skating. Oh. No, no, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but people feel, <laughs> I've noticed, I've seen posts of things, people feel real certain ways about this, like a real passionate against, like really against it or really just whatever, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm just whatever, like it's yeah. cool, um, it could be really bad, it could be really bad, at least the look of it, but could that be really great. That doesn't affect a real skater, though. Anyway, yeah. it doesn't affect us in any ways. Right. I would hope to think I'm a. Real so skater. you're you're stoked if you get in, and you're you're okay with it if you don't. Yeah, I yeah. think I will, and you're I think I, it, yeah. I would be a part of it. It's not like a a thing that I'm like, all right, this is all I'm doing, but right. I'm gonna try. It's the same as the contest now. It's not like my I'm not really competitive, mm -hmm. but I just try to do what I can do. And yeah, you know. you're in there. Yeah. You might as well yeah. try to win. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. it's the it's the. Right, right. It's just also, it's points too. So it's you're literally just skating against yourself. Yeah. You, you plan what you're doing, and you're either planning the right thing or you're not, or right. you just can't land shit, which usually what's. <laughs> 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 the consistency of that is very hard. That's why, yeah, it's just hard. You need a coach. Facts. No, oh, I dude. could be. I could be I think, a coach. I think he's all. I think he's no, good. No, the coach shit blows my mind because if look at this, and people are gonna what take this. Certain, people are gonna take this certain ways. There's, like I said earlier, there's only been a certain amount of winners at Street League, mm -hmm. and none of those people need a coach. Right. And yeah. it's not because of a strategy. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, it's going to come down to a lot more than just someone saying, like, you know, maybe a coach will help these kids get practice more or some shit or I don't know. But yeah. I know, we know, Naja knows, Yuto knows, right. we know exactly what needs to be done there. There's, yeah, no, but the people... there's no one that could sit there and help me with that. Right. The only thing is maybe I can't see the scoreboard properly and I don't know that I need a 9.2 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then someone tells me you need a 9.2. Like, okay, But that's not coaching. You know, I, I've heard some of these, these conversations and I'm like, for me personally, you know. no, but yeah, maybe other people. Right. Okay. But then, I was gonna that's, apply for that's, the job. But, but that's where I'm like, all these. If other people have all these these managers and these people, what are they all doing? Because they're all at those contests, but the, their con their people aren't winning. So what's the deal? But I think maybe some skaters just don't get it, and so they need somebody there by their, their yeah. By their but side that's, to that's tell what them. I'm saying. Yeah. They're still not getting it. Right. Yeah, and they're not at the top six, like you said. They're all younger, you know. Yeah. So, I don't know. Or not younger, but yeah. And. Just, Back to the point of this, all of those skaters that want to be involved in that and are in it are capable of doing great. Of good, yeah. yeah. So it's just, it's just a, it, yeah. It's personal, you know. You guys know what you're doing. So yeah. You don't, you don't need me. I mean, coach. I would like that because it'd be oh, fun. Yeah. It'd be funny. A, yeah, I, for me personally, I know exactly why I'm there and what I'm doing. So if I had someone to make it lighter, it's already super fun with those dudes. Like right. Rashad's there, and he's the funniest. He's dude. a great, yeah. Like people like that and Malta, just having friends there. 
that's what makes that shit enjoyable because it is kind of intense you know it's, it's people are really competitive and these kids coming up way more competitive than i am like nice just dumb competitive super competitive yeah yeah these kids though they're land tricks like, yeah it's like yeah you know <laughs> and it's cool like celebrate they're hyped uh i just i'm just not like that right you know it's not like i haven't been stoked or anything but uh. well hey if when you you know the olympics we'll say hey i'll be there hopefully you're gonna win <laughs> you're gonna win Thanks. you're gonna get gold <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying we're gonna hang it right back up here uh, and what, around and your board it wants to deal with that like so there is like a certain amount of people from each region that can make it right it's three from each is it country or? yeah some some sort of region thing a couple people can make it three uh, I think and what other max. what other who other skaters are coming from Australia that you know of right now For the, the, it's just Tommy and I oh okay listen Shane where we at this is Incredible. We're going to wrap this up soon, but okay. I want to ask you because no. I heard about this story about, you know, it wasn't a plane crash, but it was a hard landing. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. and then planes freak people out. This you know, shit. you're on, you're, oh, you're, you're trapped in this tube and everything. Yep. And most of the time nothing happens. Right. But I mean, you landed pretty hard. You had to, they had to detour you to a different airport. Yep. Right. And you landed in the middle of nowhere. Right. Yep. What was that? What, what happened? So bro? what happened? You're coming from China. I, I hate this story because I don't like, I travel so much. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, but, you don't want to talk no, about no, it. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. But it, so what happened? No, no, no. <laughs> it's chilling. But I was coming home from China. Yeah. Just on a trip. One of my many trips to China. Yeah. Because it's fun. It's a great place. Um, shout out Johnny Tang. Shout out Johnny Tang yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, about to be there. Shout out to Marble. Yep. Shout out to yeah. Marble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Marble. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm coming home from China. I'm by myself. I think I was with James on that trip, and he was going back to Melbourne. James, 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 two yep. James. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> James Shorty. Just making sure. Yeah. Just, just to be sure. Yeah, but James um, Shorts. yeah, where I was coming home, mm -hmm. and I was just, uh, I don't know, I was in the middle. Yeah, I was in the middle, and it oh. was nighttime, and it was just, it was, it was a China to LA trip, so it was mostly Chinese people. So yeah. no one was really speaking English around me. Okay. Pitch black. I'm sleeping. Um, didn't feel any turbulence or anything like this. And then, boom, out of nowhere, the lights all pop on, and everyone starts screaming. The turbulence is crazy, and the, uh, oxygen. the, the oh, oxygen things pop down. Oh, and, like, sure. everyone's putting it on. Like, people next to me are throwing up. Oh, my God. Um, everyone's screaming, and I'm tripping because no one spoke English. So I'm just looking around, like, trying to think of what I should even think about. You know, yeah, before I no maybe idea. dying. Wow. Uh, you know, I was just like, I don't know. Yeah. What do you think about it? People are just blanking, you know, just, just oh my God. And then quickly, it was a sh it was short. And crazy turbulence, crazy turbulence. Yeah. And then um, they didn't say anything on the speakers. Like, it's maybe like Not after like a couple down. minutes. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't going down. It was like this, like yeah. down, but dropping down. Mm. Not like plunging sure 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 <laughs> right 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 like, so, like like the kind of drop where your stomach or yeah, like, it was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was insane yeah so um and it was yeah from china to uh, the states so it was over water oh or yeah. whatever but we land oh no so it calms down and, and i see land like i could see that there was lights okay um and we land on a at an airport strip and it goes straight off into the snow Oh like God. yeah it goes straight off into the snow like it was super cold and shit yeah the the runway was short it was at a i think a private uh airport gotcha and and anyway so we get out they pull all the shit out like it was it was very i was so calm by at this point because nothing happened but you skidded off the runway yeah right? it was, just, it was went, no it was just you went, get on the runway and at this point it was already like oh, i'm so fine like you know you're good you're on yeah, ground yeah yeah, yeah. The... land into and it just because the runway is too short yeah. so shh into snow like not even that far but you okay know, yeah the runway's too short sure. at those airports um and then yeah get off the the plane and like a, uh, a baby's ear eardrums were burst from oh, the pressure because no. that's another thing when the lights came on my ears were like everything was it, there was no air pressure like they lost cabin pressure yeah so that was real weird and uh um, oh. and then yeah we that I that's what happened. But you didn't get back on the plane and fly. Like no, you had no, to transfer we in, uh, to Arkansas. Oh okay, yeah, where, where, where did Alaska? you land? Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. Okay, yeah, yeah. we're in Alaska. That's where we landed. Okay, because um, that's like right yeah. there. And no, they put us all up in a hotel and got a new plane or whatever and flew out the next day from a different airport to, to LA. Yeah. yeah. Did they? And tell I was you... feeling weird about it. Yeah, it was like an engine fail. Oh, geez. it was an engine fail mixed with crazy turbulence. So it was just uh, an it was an emergency landing. It wasn't yeah. a crash. Right, 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 yeah. right. Emergency landing. Emergency landing, but it was not 
all good. Yeah. Usually, um, they can lose one engine and still continue yeah, yeah, yeah. and just land at another airport, yeah. which sounds what that, happened with the that. turbulence. It was that with turbulence, with having to drop so quickly because they needed to get to wherever they were. Yeah. Going. Wow. Yeah, dude. so it was, a, it was a quick five minutes. Right. Just, yeah. Terror. Just by myself. Just and nothing was going on in your head. You just kind of blanked no, out no, and you're in, just, in it's almost a, In the beginning, like when it first happened and the shit dropped down, yeah. I was like, I don't know what happened. Like, this is weird. What about, do you, want, do you want to talk about video game stuff? Oh, yeah. You're Doesn't a bit of a big video gamer. I game, yeah, from time to time. Yeah? What's yeah. your game? Uh, Fortnite? At the moment, Fortnite, Apex. There's a couple. Yeah. There's a couple. I jump here and there through games Weird. Call of Duty I played that for that's what got that me that was into a big gaming. one Call of Duty yeah. got pretty a lot of a lot of my friends into I was I was too, super into getting me Mike Mo and yep. everybody playing Call of Duty that's the one so yeah. you get the crew on there and it's just fun it's just a good time and because I live you know I have my house and I just do whatever yeah, you know yeah. and play some you, games but I have uh, I have a lot of friends in that industry like I, I met some some dudes who used to skate and mm. you know they they uh, own FaZe Clan like Tommy and stuff and, oh, okay and uh just been doing stuff with them and, and business stuff with them and Sick. just outside the shit I do outside of skating a lot um, mm-hmm. to do with them and some other people and wow. yeah but I've always been interested in gaming just because it's something easy to do when you do can. you play on the computer do you use a I keyboard and mouse I play both you do really yeah, yeah, yeah. P- interesting PS4 and PS4? Uh, PC but. PC huh I is mean, it hard oh, to get into the, uh, the keyboard and the mouse and yeah, stuff yeah it's to a try little to... harder I mean I'm not used to it I'm more of just a console console you know? guy yeah. but it's cool. Yeah, it's fun. It's cool. I mean, everyone games now. It's cool. It's it's nice. Uh, there's a lot of friends that I have, like from Australia, or just that I can't. There's nowhere else to really connect with them. I'm not on Facebook chat or whatever the fuck MSN right. Messenger anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not on aim. Or, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so it's cool because gaming can do something, but also chat it up. And it's yeah. Mellow. Yeah. That's amazing. So that's that's been cool for the last couple of years. You know, decompress, play some video games. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. What about Don't TV? About You're a Netflix guy? I, w- I watch shows. I, I like movies and shows Big just because m- I just don't think about anything else when I'm watching shows. Who's Shane O'Neill's favorite skater? So many. <laughs> I, I watch every video. I don't know if, if people can kind of gather that from any of this info, but I watch everything. You I watch, watch all the videos that come out. I watch a lot of random stuff from You're army videos. Just a big to, skate fan. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm a fan of all types of skating. It's not like a... I want to watch people nolly flip crook, nolly flip or something. Yeah. Or like specifically what I am into or what I do. Sorry, but, I'm into all the, I'm, I'm into, I love, love watching Grant skate. He's insane. Mm-hmm. You know? I like watching Nick Stain, Nick Stain skate. You know? oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. It's just, it's cool. I like, I like all that shit because I can, I know how hard that is. Right. You know? Like a switchback Smith is not necessarily the craziest trick, but if you go as fast as Nick Stan and try to switch back Smith, <laughs> you will not catch me doing that. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. I just, I'm into a lot of different What about things. growing up? Did you have a favorite? Growing like, up, Costin I mean, yeah, or Costin, P-Rod. Of yeah. Costin, P-Rod. Okay. Um, you know, I, I watched, yeah, right. I watched the, the, mm-hmm. you know, Chris is, uh, that was wasn't that video, but yeah. what was the switch oh, yeah, for Manny? So that was hot chocolate, chocolate tour. Hot chocolate tour. Oh, yeah. yeah. But Chris had footage in that video. Yeah. We had, I had a little section in, yeah, right. Grinding the, uh, nose grind, nose grind, five Oh, the courthouse. You know, that's that's you know what I was part. impressed with a five Oh burial heel flip out on the sand gap. Ledge. Oh yeah. So oh was, yeah. You did that. I was yeah. like, cause that's that insane. Kinda, that's so round. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of sucks for that trick. I would get a lot of people asking me, like, because I skated that thing every day. Yeah, it was yeah. rounded. It's kind of like a flat bar, but I'm not into flat bars. I don't like them. Maybe you are. You don't know. Maybe. Yeah. But I tried. <laughs> no, trust me. I don't like them. I but, love um, when ledge skaters that don't, um, I don't want to say ledge skaters, but I like watching people try to skate flat bars that don't do 50s and shit, mm-hmm. but that can do nollie heel back nose. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I don't, I had that early days growing up and then one day I could just like lock in properly and grind. Huh. And I felt the like, oh, like I'm stable. You're stable. But in the beginning, yeah, you're yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that that's shit, the briefcase. Can you five all flat bars? No Long. way. See, a lot of people still say that. I don't. I can't do it either, but you were the I've first one ex- I saw doing that. You're doing the, you were at the barracks and you just like 5 0 the whole thing. I was like, Do you have a flat bar? No, like, scary. Listen. Yeah, I, had a flat I couldn't bar have been the first yeah. person. I don't know. I mean, in, in person. No, no, for yeah, me, I'm saying, you yeah, sure? yeah, for sure. I don't know. Flat bars just trip me out. The people that don't <laughs> skate flat bars, they prefer square. Of like course. A, it's like yeah, a ledge. Ledge, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then the yeah, people right. that skate rails prefer. Yeah, yeah. Round. I just like to try skate. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Got a mini ramp because I got injured and then I was like, this will be a good way back into it. <laughs> You're fucking tr- fi- tray flip five o- or tray nose, nose grinding. Nollie flip. Nolly- 
<laughs> what are you doing, Shane? <laughs> well, I don't know. Just a couple tricks. Yeah, a couple good tricks. You go viral a lot. You know what I'm saying? Is, it, is it really viral. viral at that point? Yeah. When I see it on, when it fills up my whole feed, yeah. It's because Barracks keeps posting it. Oh, that's true. Well, <laughs> listen, bro. <laughs> um, thanks. Thanks. Uh, I just do tricks and um, a robot or whatever people think. A robot. <laughs> do you get offended when people call you robot? Dude, I'm, I don't care. You don't care? It's all good. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'd, I wish they would call me I've robot. I've had like some dumb graphics. That were based off the fact of no ideas to do with something else. <laughs> well, it's but, funny because, like you were saying earlier, nobody sees the uh, the the, the uh, attempts. Yeah. You know, they oh, just yeah. see you landing tricks every now and then. Though every now and then there'll be clips. Sure. I. Uh, that's not up to me though. I'm not like you know. But you're also a perfectionist, so like yeah, true. I mean, you do something sketchy, like I'm gonna do it again. That's a, just a personal thing. Yeah. I don't ha like I do that when I'm not filming. It's not like I'm just yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Just filming and like, I have to do this because people are going to be like thinking, you, t you know, it's <laughs> yeah, not like that. Right. I do that anyway because I like the feeling of shit. Yes, yeah. And that's, that's kind of what led me into being able to do contests and shit because I wasn't in them. I didn't grow up that way. But when it was straight leg and you just have to land a trick, it's like, oh, just once. Yeah, okay. Could probably do that. Maybe. <laughs> probably. Yeah. I love you, it, you could be good at it too. Um, I'm, I've it's never been that dude. It's a different time now because it's literally just rails. Like yeah. It can be just rail skating. Yeah. I, I don't. You could jump. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I used yeah. to jump. In the beginning, it was more jumping. And, yeah. You know, some yeah. Some tricks. Big, but the big section. Yeah, yeah. Good, all good, that stuff. Uh, good, I loved watching some people in there. Like, I like watching Paul skate a lot. Yeah. Like, when he does flip tricks and shit. He, he's one of the better jumpers, I think. Him and Lewis, I really always like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just the way they land and pop and just looks good yeah. one of the yeah. best p rod and you too bro thanks you know what i'm saying i dude i don't know if i'm into jumping though like i've you've, done it you've and done I've, your fair share I've, yeah, it's just it really isn't that enjoyable at this it point because like i said I, I did a even when i left primitive i switched double big flipped a stair set right. and put it on instagram because oh, yeah. instead of just posting a board or i don't know what about and skating I, the 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 triple set the um the buster bail one didn't you switch flip that one? Or you try to or something? <laughs> the one I died on? Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, she said, yeah, did one? I switch flip it? I oh. mean, the board did a switch flip. <laughs> My head did a something else. Is that you hit your head? Is no, I yeah. So what happened with that was the, just had no speed and didn't want to just, I could have just stopped and not tried it that try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But tried to pop and somehow dragged my feet over and they slipped out, shoes slipped off maybe and I kneed myself in the face. Oh yeah. Um, And, yeah, I got. I was. That was bad. I, I posted it because it was just bad. It was a yeah. super one of the worst slams I've ever had. Mm. And just from all regions, my face hurt, my knee hurt, my ankles were fucked. Like it was bad. And I was flying from there, from San Diego, to Nike in Portland to negotiate my contract. Oh no! <laughs> I couldn't oh, even shit. walk. <laughs> oh, show up all <laughs> battered and nah, bruised. It's, it's all good. It's all good. But I did think about. It. I'm like, dude, I can't even fly because I'm concussed. And then like I'm going to try to do this. It was pretty bad. They could have put anything in front of you. You would have signed it. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, I think it was funny <laughs> because... Yeah, I died, though. Yeah, I tried. I mean, it wasn't funny at all, but it was like... Mind. Even though you knew, because like, there's never footage of you really falling like that. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I mean, that I, I slammed. Don't get me wrong. I'm slamming a right. lot. Because, yeah, yeah. Um, Last resort. When I was like 18, I was like, I'm never bailing anymore. Stop bailing. Because like, you, you know, you get into that mode. Yeah, you get into that So now habit. I usually try a couple tries and stop bailing. Yeah. It's just a commitment, like, you know. So I'm down to slam, but that was next level. That's like a freak accident. Mm -hmm. Was that the only try that you tried it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was just like, I shouldn't have popped, but instead I did thinking I would just clear it and fall on my feet. and Yeah, bail, roll over or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it. <laughs> Whatever. Standard. Yeah, but instead Standard I bail. fucking slipped out and... Phew. Jeez. Um, man, those contests are crazy though. That's a whole diff. That's not even a contest. It's just like a spot session, yeah. and they're always it's massive. A stunt session. Yeah, the Clipper one was nuts. Oh, that's man. the only other one I've been in. Um, I've just been to two of them since I've been pro. And what did you do? Big spin back tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. That, that was tail. scary for sure. Because I never been there before, and I got there, and everyone was already skating. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. So you just what? How did well, you just try switch. I was right back. back no, nah, I um, I back fifty it and. And that didn't help anything because it was, it's so round. It's rounded, yeah. The tricks people yeah. have done on that, if I don't know if people know this, but it's pretty hard. Yeah. It's pretty hard to say. It. Yeah. It's really round. Like you grind it, like you feel like you're doing nothing. Right. It's round. You need and really then, wide trucks and actually exactly, grind. Yeah. yeah. So back 
50'd it. Try to back tail. Oh, I slid a back tail, and then the next back tail, like, slid up, like on top because it's low. And because it's long, it's kind of low when you yeah. that. Didn't even get in a back tail, and I was like, I've just got to do this. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to try this. Yeah. Worked out. There you go. Sick. There you go. Listen, bro, this has been incredible. Thank Shane O'Neill, first. And last interview. This is my first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, never you're, again. you're telling the truth. I may never do an interview again. I might watch this and be like, yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. You killed it, dude. Yeah, you're, you're this awesome, was great, man. bro. I, honestly, I've been asked hundreds of times, hundreds. Hundreds. Every. You got sick of it. And you're like, okay, fine. No, I always wanted on. to come on yeah. here, but it's more Kelly, like. stop asking me. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I see him, I'm like, what's up, dude? It, 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 <laughs> to me, to me personally, it was more like, I don't know if I have anything interesting for you. No. Because my, my life in general is, I don't, I'm not trying to talk about that, you know? Well, so all we talked about was skating and stuff and history. Yeah. I'm, I'm down for that. Sure. Which I talk to, to my friends about all this shit all the time, but it's more. And about there, you know, I like, I, I'm a, I like listening more than doing. Yes. Yeah. So I'd rather just sit here in that seat. <laughs> <laughs> we can come back sometime. We can hang out again. Yeah, you know? yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, think about it, bro. I You're always it. welcome. I enjoy it. Maybe the experience. That would be awesome. No, people don't have two episodes though, huh? Uh, it hasn't happened yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'm Some sure it'll happen. I'm sure it'll line. happen. People have shit to say. They do. Yeah. They do. And plus we've done, been doing this not, three years. not promoting anything. I'm sorry. Well, I, go I, on I buy brought, April skateboards. And, uh, <laughs> I brought uh, the six pack for you, the Stellas. Oh, these Stellas, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I got this little thing for all of you. What is this, bro? A little oh, gift a little card. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Well, it says what hey, it is I, on the back. I, I get you uh, just just for the house, just a oh April skateboards. Yeah, bro. just five. Give that to Raj, bro. Yeah, Thank you, know. you, dude. Okay, that's amazing. It'll be bro. on the wall constantly. Yeah, I got the the little set. I gotta take that back though, because it's the see. only one I have, and that's my first board. No, we're, that's uh, where we're gonna put your gold medal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what this is. Whoa. Wait, what? Whoa! <laughs> what? Looks like it's uh, Ruth Chris for life. <laughs> what? One hundred and fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> Ruth Chris. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. That's a lot of. <laughs> oh, that's only oh, that's still. awesome. It's dude. a couple of uh, so lobster yeah, mac yeah. and I'm, cheese. I don't know what you can get there for that. Maybe just like some chips each or something. Yeah, some, yeah. some bread. <laughs> yeah, but go there. Enjoy. Get one steak. Man, we appreciate that. Course, that's very thoughtful, bro. Well, very I always thoughtful. hear you talking about that place. I don't eat there. Have so you ever? Yeah. You've never been. Oh yeah, you didn't. Let's go. I haven't eaten meat for a couple of years. Oh okay, they got vegetarian options. Yeah, you can get vegetarian options. You can get chicken. I'll go. You guys. Chicken? Thank that you. vegetarian? Dude, Shane, thank, thank you. you for that, bro. It's amazing, yeah, thank you, bro. Dude, Thanks for really letting cool. me on. What size do you wear? Oh, yeah, let's get you some stuff. Oh, uh, I, what, are, what are the runs like? Is it is it Cali, Cali um, they're like, fits? Yeah, they're just normal. Just yeah. like, not, so like a medium? Yeah. That's probably a large. Maybe yeah, a large. A large. Yeah. Maybe a large. No, no, a large. Yeah, maybe a large. I, I think I like, a large. Do you have those? By yeah. yeah, we I like that. I like that. good. Kelly's going to go grab. His foot's getting a little better, so I see him running around here. He can go get Oh, my God. You said... His foot's so swollen. He's good. He's, he's good, good, bro. He's got that. Okay. Get, it's only in the next room. <laughs> Raj, I see him running around here doing all kinds of shit. He was doing jumping jacks earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks What's, for letting me do this at 10 a.m. too. Because of oh, course, dude, you, bro. Otherwise. You can come anytime you want, man. Listen, what's... We've already talked about April. Yep. We've talked about... skate. You, you said you're coming out with a new video part soon. I'm sure it's going to be Soon-ish. incredible. Uh, I... I'm very happy with it. I'm Are very you? happy with what, what's going to be happening with it, yes. Awesome. Yes. But yeah, and How long have you been working on it? For a while, yeah. yeah. I mean, during that whole April period of, you know. Sort setting of, all that up. Setting all that yeah. up. Just, yeah. So, I'm excited about that, and yeah, it's going to be probably my better thing that I've done. So okay. I'm very happy. And here's a question. Now that you have your own company, I'm sure the, that you guys are going to, you know, have your own YouTube page and all this stuff. Like where are you guys, where are you going to put out this part? Is it going to be on Thrasher? It's not an April do, video. It's not an April video, but no. it's your own. No, it's for Nike. Oh, Nike. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. So they have a couple subscribers. You'll get some good views. Yeah. Views are cool, man. Not, if some skaters watch it, I'm hyped. If not, I'll post it on Instagram, and if they don't watch it there, then fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody's gonna watch it, bro. Yeah. People love you, man. Thanks. You're thanks. fucking amazing I, skateboarder, I feel, bro. I uh, I'm a lucky skater, you know, because some people just for some reason don't get the the opportunity or the you've got the, the talent. Love. I don't know. Yeah, you're very talented, man. Well, I've gotten this far with no interviews like this until now. 
Yeah. So no one knew about anything to do with anything. But I feel like you let the skating do the talking. You know, it's like you're I mean, you're a skater first and foremost, yeah, and well, that's yeah. what you put out. That, and then it's just fortunately I've been able to get here without having to do that. Yeah. And true. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's more of just some fun banter, more than like. I'm not trying to, there's nothing to prove. I'm not, you know, just right. here, just here. We did a great job, man. I, I feel like I got to know you even more. I mean, we know each other, but not in a, you know, of course. not very well. That sucks sometimes with skating that you True. just, some people you never get to, you never Fully get that. Yeah. yeah, because you're not on the same team as them or, you know. Even though sometimes you're on the same team, you go on tours. That's you a go weird on month long tours I and try you not, still. Yeah. yeah. I try not to be like that. I've, yeah. Back then, like you know, eighteen, nineteen, I, I was oh, more just like focused on skating. Yeah. Now I'm fo- just as focused on skating, but I find it a lot more important to try to learn about people and Commun- actually, you know, like, communicate. Yeah. It's, you know, we need to. Now, as a kid, it's hard to do that when you're a skater as a kid. It's, it's just true. like you don't care. You just fucking like, what spot are we going to? Like, what are we doing? You know. Yeah. And it's also and too. And that's not just me. I know for a fact because I'm dealing with some kids. You know. Yeah. I like this. And also, cool. I think shyness comes into play too. Yeah. Like when I was younger, for I didn't. Sure. You know, and I was trying to get, I was getting, trying to get hooked up with chocolate and girl and all these sponsors. Like, I didn't, I didn't really want to open my mouth much. Have you? You know, you I don't want to blow it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, times are different now, too. It's true. I, I knew, like, with the April stuff, I knew everyone before, like, putting them on, mm-hmm. before making the calls, you know? Right. Ronnie and Ish I, were the people I knew least, but I Ooh. but I made that connection with them easily, and I already knew through various friends that they're awesome. And yeah. Yeah, now I know them well, and they're awesome. Most skaters are great people. For sure. It's, just, it's hard to navigate this weird fucking world we live in. And with the industry just being so specific and, you know, that's what I'm saying. I'm lucky. I, I know that I've done certain things and made decisions that worked out nicely. Yeah. But still, got to appreciate it. Listen, bro, m- much success, bro. You're going to kill it. Thanks. April's yeah. going to do great. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm happy with this. This is yeah. All the guys on the Australian side, too, are They're amazing. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So good. So you were friends with them before as well. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are all your friends from back home. Yeah. I mean, Nathan, he's been in every one of my parts, almost. That's awesome. Oh. He's, had a, he's had a trick in almost all of those video That's parts. Sick. Dope. Yeah, so. Well, listen, bro, if anything happens with chocolate, I would love to skate for... Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, yeah, you're welcome. Here's... Uh, vice versa, too. If this, if this, you know, this interview <laughs> might... Yeah, well, this, these might slow up after this. Interview. Oh, come on, bro. They're going to take off. Yeah. Man. Well, gonna... if they do, I'm chocolate. I like chocolate. Do you like chocolate? Okay. Yeah. I know some. I'll put I like a good word chocolate. for you. No, <laughs> Listen. Uh, dude, chocolate. I used to rock chocolate all the time when I was just I in the midst of companies. Yeah. Yeah. There's all kinds of food. You used to always rock, rock the pants, pants all the yeah. time, right? Chocolate and girl pants at the time and four star, just the best pants. Yeah, yeah. they I were. I couldn't get pants. The corduroys? Yeah. yeah, even to this day, pants are hard, dude. I buy pants. It's tough. It's tough. Pants are tough. Because they're there, a company makes some cool ones, and then they're gone, gone, and then the next fits wild, and then... Yeah. And if you're <laughs> skating in them, washing them, I mean, the pants yeah. won't last that long. Yeah. It's a do? weird topic, but I swear I've talked to a lot of skaters about pants like what do you wear like what yeah, yeah, yeah 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 if i see some nice pants i'm asking what are those yeah, yeah. usually buy like yeah. three or four pairs just to make yeah, sure yeah, you seriously sure. always yeah. have them listen here's some ch- here's some nine club stickers to put do on I your board to, do i have to put these on yes board? okay yes. <laughs> i don't put stickers on my boards now what just, why just put them in the background put it in the back this, of your this, car this is a, <laughs> this is an old school must you know like what we're talking about before you have to put a you sticker put stickers it. on yeah no, dude, i don't have to do anything you don't have to do anything okay <laughs> well if you get the hankering you know put maybe throw out an instagram with that here's a, you got a lot of followers bro nah yeah couple couple million here you go here's a nine club this is thank you switch flip manny mug for your coffee the switch flip manny is it's very hard to stop looking at. I know everyone says that, but I it's know. just... It's right there. That positioning, it's got to change. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you suggest we put it? No, I'm just kidding. Mark right Johnson here. gave... Oh, right here in the middle. <laughs> Mark Johnson gave me that, bro. MJ. Here's a Nine Club uh, New Era hat for you. So you're a hat guy. I like this. You like it. A heads up, that's really deep. We, well, have, we have um, ones. We have a shallow one. We have, yeah, we got a oh, shallow really? one. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, then, thank yeah. you. Yeah. You're going to go raid the warehouse when we're okay. done here. Yeah. yeah. You, know? you have a warehouse in the house? Yeah. Oh. Trust me. Yeah. Raj, the warehouse manager. Can April be out of here, please? We barely have enough room to uh, store t shirts. <laughs> uh, line Club large shirt for you there, bro. I'll take over Kelly's room. Here's a. Um, yeah, <laughs> Kelly can move into the living room. <laughs> this stuff is super good quality. I'm not trying to be a sales. Piece, no. But. We try. We try to do some good shit, bro. That, that looks super good. I like this it. is a beautiful 
nine club crew neck embroidered crew neck crew neck it's embroidered yeah top quality shit this is top shelf <laughs> this is top shelf shane <laughs> I'm just and there's a nine <laughs> club <laughs> hoodie embroidered hoodie for you wait so if i wear this do i get a not like if i a nine club like are you gonna give me nine points if i'm uh, I, this is not related to any street league oh, yeah. no so, sorry but i'll give you 20 bucks <laughs> wow you probably get in trouble for that holy shit <laughs> <laughs> people nowadays 20 so bucks serious? if you get it on what the air. What if I was like, yeah, I gave him a nine. That's what I promised him, you know. Yeah. You know. yeah. Jeez, dude. I can't wait for that day where someone's actually rocking a nine club shirt on Street League, getting a nine. I could I could try, like, dude. <laughs> Bring it back. You know, put the, wear the what, hood. What do I, nine, wait, so you said I get 20 bucks? 20 bucks. For, it's our, it's our <laughs> photo, wearing it on TV. It's our photo incentive program here at the nine club. So what I'll take you to Ruth Chris. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With your gift card. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks. I, that's amazing. It's not bad. Oh, no, I was going to, yeah. Same. If you guys are trying to pay like that. Nobody. Well, well t- does a post count? Because I can post all day long. 20 bucks a That's easy up. money. We'll give you five bucks. Five <laughs> bucks a post. Five bucks a post, dude. Well, he'll, listen, he'll start bro. doing some posts. I know. Go, yeah. I'm just kidding, dude. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> no? I'm, no, dude. It, we didn't even get into social media at all. Has any of the yes. brands you like skated for in the past like try to incentivize you like to no. post? It's never happened. No? Mm. No. Um, it's good. They're not like we'll give you two hundred bucks if you post this or two hundred bucks or whatever. <laughs> like, no way. No, I don't have sponsors that do stuff like that. No. But, um, well, I feel like they just know well, you're always doing like something, sports, yeah. so they don't. Yeah, have to ask yeah, you. yeah. I do yeah. what is 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 needed from me, so I've never been asked. You know, right? Um, and I'll do it on my own accord because it's like it's sometimes hard to keep up with that shit, I, and I want stuff to post, and that's what I'm interested in, so I keep mm-hmm. it going anyway. Right. I feel like, too, you have a lot of followers, and companies maybe would approach you to... I have definitely, yeah. I've had a lot of offers and a lot of things based on social media, right. but I don't do it. It's never been... Never been your MO. Dude, tw- 200 bucks to be like selling my soul, kind of, yeah. when this whole time I've only been posting what I like. Like, dude, I won't do that for a lot of money, because... Right. Not to sound stupid, but I'm already happy where I am. Like, I'm not looking, I don't. Yeah. So if I'm going to do something extra, it's got to be worth it. Two, um, two grand. No. Five. No. Everybody's no. got a price, bro. For Ten? What? One post? Or for one post. Of what? Two grand. Um, no, not two grand. Yeah, uh, um, Yo Play Yogurt. Hell no. <laughs> what? Billion dollar company. Okay, five grand. No way. For one post. Nope. 10. 20 grand. Nope. Put the post on for a day. 50 grand. Yo play. Fruit no. at the bottom. What yogurt. Are, what, That's pretty good. Blueberry. Grand. What is, what it, like, what am I posting? What am I doing? Just you enjoying a nice yo play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruit at the smiling. bottom. <laughs> fruit at the bottom. Blueberry yogurt. Okay. You no. know, mid bite. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that I'm getting 50 grand? You have so that, to. You have to put hashtag ad. No, but can I say like I'm How getting 50 grand. Hashtag this is paid. super cheesy, but like <laughs> can, let me live, you know? Can I say that? Sounds I, like 50 it sounds like 50 grand's your your No, but it's only 50 if I can explain to people like okay, this you is can, a joke. You can't, I'm literally like No. Ha, you have ha, to say no. I love no, yo no, play no. food at the bottom. 100 grand. No. Shane. <laughs> Yep. You better send me their contacts. I love this. It's good. No, I mean, that's close, though. But, <laughs> but That's no, a street league win. You don't have to do anything but eat yogurt. No, but it's like, it's the it's the principle of it. I, I know, just told you, I I'm know. already happy. You're not, a, you're not a money, but, money but, motivated But, I mean, people guy. are going to hear that and say you're an idiot. Like, one post. Yeah. It just depends on the context. Yeah, it's yeah. true. If, if I could say whatever I want about it, it would be kind of funny. But it actually different. shows a lot about your character, though. You know what I mean? I mean, you're you're not money driven. You're not money motivated, you know? It's great. No. I mean, two hundred grand, blueberry. I've mid, been in a mid, lucky position, mid-bite. though. I, I, it, that's, yeah. I've, I'm lucky. Yeah. In, in that sense, I haven't had to um, sell yourself. Not really. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a tiny from bit from time to but, time. But yeah, nothing, know? nothing crazy. Right. Um, but yo, play. I don't know. Do they watch us? <laughs> I don't know. I'm oh, hoping. They, I'm hoping call. they do. Hopefully. Yeah. If they call you, send them my way. Yeah. I'll post So now that. they know. It's 100 days a post. You know, it's not just me out there. There's a lot of skaters. <laughs> Hit up the other skaters, but it's 100 days a post. 100 days a post. That's what needs That's to happen. Standard, yeah. That's what needs to happen. I wish there was a standard. Like, I don't like I that people are getting paid this, this. I mean, they set the standard. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard stories. Like, oh, of, he has this many followers. It's going to hit this many people. Yeah. Yes. This is how much it's going to cost. Yes. 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 But you wish there was like an even keel. Just of a little bit. Just a little. Just a little more. Yes, because yeah. it's yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe and you it, need yeah. your minimums of likes. 
Not even that, no, but, that, but it's just maybe board royalties and everybody gets kind of treated, even if you're on the same yeah, team. Yeah, but see, here's the thing, though. Board treated. royalties, it's hard because if they're giving board royalties and you're only selling 200 boards, then that's not, their, that's not the company's fault. Right. Yeah. So for me, it's more setting up a business that can run itself and pay them a certain amount. It's not to do with a board royalty. Like, how are you going to sponsor someone and only pay them for what they do on top of what they do for you as a company just you know you yeah. don't have someone just for the board sales it's like they're skating it's it's not really justifiable in amount of money per mm-hmm. se. Like, mm-hmm. that's, i think too a lot of skate companies nowadays just they just rely on the skater for content they're, that's a big thing back in the day right? back yeah. in the day it was like oh okay we're gonna get you got you got an ad due we're gonna put an ad yep. and we're gonna have in thrasher trans world all this stuff and you were working yeah, now yeah. it's more like hey what do you got for us exactly yeah. so it's yeah so and yeah it's just difficult and yeah. all of this shit all this new stuff is difficult i'm in a lucky position i'm hoping that more skaters can get themselves in this position yeah um and live their dreams or whatever they're you know i'm a dad i'm just doing I what it. i need to do yeah she turns four tomorrow it's crazy man. wow well, win a street league bro bring that check home man but yeah. get an College extension fund. to your house going you nah, know i'm chilling on all that <laughs> very happy okay but we'll see i'm i'm i don't know what the you're just doing holds. your thing yeah i love it yeah i'm not opposed to like sponsors on new stuff it just depends on what it is and how it can be. I like partnerships more than a sponsor. Like, yeah. it's cool if they give you creative on what kind of ads you're doing. But if your play is like, hey, put the spoon <laughs> in your mouth and drink, eat this exactly. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, 100 yeah. grand sounds realistic. <laughs> <laughs>